You have a disc. That was insane. Er God. Do you think that he watches Tyler 1? If he Wait rushes Prowler Claw, probably. Er God. Yo. Yo, Sneaky. So nice of you to join us. Uh huh. Uh huh. Welcome. Dude, Urgot's ulti is so fucking OP. It's the whole champ's kit is awful, and then his ulti is just insane. Except for legit, his burger like, flip. Yeah, Le legit twenty five percent execute. It's just crazy, right? Crazy. It's pretty good. The range on it's insane. Yeah, it's it, it, it's totally nuts. You ever buy QSS against him so you can get out of it? Hmm. Not usually, but it is QSS an escape. Seems, QSS seems like one of the worst items in the game now for some reason. It used to be crazy, and then it just ah, slowly right. become came to the point where like eighty carries don't even get it as their like sixth item because they'd rather just have BT. Yeah, it's weird. When Q when Merksim gave life steal, it was really good. Then they took that away and gave it crit instead, which I thought would be better even. Wait, it doesn't give life steal anymore? Nope, nope. it gives armor. I actually didn't sorry, know that. It gives MR, AD, and crit. It used to give MR, AD, and life steal. Um, yeah, I I thought it just gave crit and life steal. It's something weird. Nice. Oh, that would be broken, man. Holy Yo, shit, you would see that shit Glenn. on like Thanks so many games to give all three. Look, I, I, I think it's a great draft. Um, do you have any final words to say? What do you think is the bot lane matchup? What do you, who do you think uh, is going to take I it think, away? I think that they should have, uh, have the prior as a lane, and we are obviously going to aim to to be more on the on the scaling side. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that we kind of inverted roles, where you usually play for the early game and they play for the late game. This yeah. time is a little bit of, of inverted roles, but yeah. uh, I think that them showing that adaptation and we showing this, this adaptation as well is what makes this series so interesting and appealing to every fan. Agreed, yeah. Looking forward to it. What the All right, thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, you Mohammed. Yeah, it was a great interview. <laughs> Dude, the timing sucks so bad on those, actually. Yeah, yeah. It, like, it's because there's a bunch of shit two happening. two seconds. <laughs> but I kind of like, like that. During, like, I kind of like that urgency. I, I, honestly, I like that something is going on and, like, your, your attention is being dragged multiple ways. Like, it's just... Hmm. Yeah, as opposed to just kind of less happening, there's there's a lot. Pretty cool. Wait, Santorin is gapping the fuck out of closer right now. <clears throat> In uh -huh. what regard? How so, good sir? Did you not see him start <laughs> his blue and then <clears throat> take his top side? And... I did not. I was watching the it, interview. The triple quadrant. <laughs> Thank you for informing me. That doesn't seem like it's as impactful as like it was a long time ago, though. Starting the enemy buff and then coming back into yours, because like by the time your second camp spawn, isn't that disadvantage for Santorin since like his his second round drone camps are like. I think it's better for him. Just he kind of removes Vi from the game for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, like if Vi is. He has to just basically pick up the scraps, but like he doesn't really get a, a lot of choice in where he goes. Yeah, that's if, that's, if there's true, like a, that's a true. There's like a viable gank, then it's doesn't feel as bad. But viable, no! nice, <laughs> nice. That was so funny, bro, man. I can't believe it. It's it's not like actually devastating for Vice games. Just like ah, fuck you, yeah. bitch. Yeah, like this is like one of those 11. things that. Probably feels like total shit, but as a laner, I'm like, oh, nice. We probably get double crab. You know, it, it, their their jungler is actually more pressured than ours to like do stuff. Like, uh, not to do stuff. What do I mean by this? Like, their jungler has less time, I guess, and is more busy than ours. But like, the end result feels. That's kind of how I feel about my AD carry when his lane is frozen and he can't farm. Like the other AD carry is so busy last hitting, and my AD carry just has so much time to do anything. No, but the XP will catch up like naturally, right? I, I, I like right here. His second Raptor is, is is already up. His second Grump is already up. I, I've just noticed that my jungler is never really behind when they start our buff. But what really puts him behind is when, for, like, let's say Closer was like, "Fuck, he took my," bu and then he walks into the enemy red. Is like I gotta get I gotta get a second buff at least like I can't let him three buff me and then and then just die. Two down. Then that the game is just over right there. 
But, um, ah, I mean, look at the CS. Is, is it really that bad? I don't know. And close already based. It's, it's over. There. It's completely fucked. It's, it's just doomed. Like, like closer. The can't game. Play? The game should just end here. Yeah. Ooh. I, I mean, I, I'm also really biased because I, I, I was very Barbara, lucky to you. be able to play with Xmithy, who like kind of explained the way that this works to me because he, he, <laughs> he's the master of just getting invaded on, being in just house on fire, saying this is fine. So, I'm sure it's very different if like. I don't know. The meta is different, or <clears throat> your jungler does different stuff. Vi's on drag. Oh my Whoa. god! I I have no doubt that like what Santorin did is is actually good for him, but his he that 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 last like two minutes is kind of what I mean by like he's so busy because he has to come back to his jungle and do just a full six camp clear if he wants to get any advantage extracted out of it. Uh, and I think now it's... also he, he did some weird shit this game. I see, I see. Well, what do you think he should have done instead to like make that situation better for him? Uh, I mean, yes. I think it just depends. Like w when you do this kind of invade, usually you have a goal in mind. Like if you, like the main reason is just controlling where their jungler can go. So he did like their blue gromp, and then he did Your his girl, raptors, and then his bot side. And like showed himself by hitting the the plant. So I don't know. He could have just um, he could have done like a different order. I think like he could have done blue grom, maybe like gank through mid, then go to his bot side, and then like clear toward top or something like that. Maybe better. I see, but it doesn't matter that Vi showed where she was because on the, I guess well the the thing is like she was. the reason Santorin wanted to go back to his bot side is because. Hunter Thieves has Pryo bot with like Callista lane. So they could use that to try to like invade the bot camp. Wow, yeah, that was actually almost a kill. Yeah, he if actually Huhi died. If Huhi flash ignited or if that Q hit, that's a kill. Holy Jesus. fuck. Is Core not completely trolling by not healing there? Does he does he have the reaction time to confirm like I dodged this Q? It seemed or, pretty bad. Or would he I think I think he just dies there. I don't think really anyone has the reaction time to be like Yep, this Q's hitting. I'm gonna. Oh, oh that was Jungle nice. Kingdom. I, I don't think he even realized how much damage is about to come in. Yeah, I, I think he just didn't know, and he lucked out with the Q dodge. Yeah, so lucky. This counter pick top might be good later. Honestly, I I think that Teal has a really great comp against Aatrox. Renata is really good against Dive. Uh, Poppy counters Aatrox. Feels like even Silas and Ergot have a pretty good time just putting them in the meat grinder together. Yeah, it might depend a little bit if he gets ahead or not, because if, if he ever gets ahead, like Aatrox is good against a bunch of melee champs, easy for him to hit Qs, multi man gores. I see, I see. I just I think that the fact that Zeri's in so many of the playoffs games, like you always know that Zeri can do some stupid shit. Um, That's true. That is a huge win condition. What the fuck is going on here? I haven't seen this in a really long time. So mid swapped bot with TP coming up in like a minute. Hmm. I wonder what's why. The, yeah, what, what's the what's the plan here? They swap their duo mid. I guess in a way it pushes Silas. It pushes Silas out of that lane because Silas doesn't want to lane versus Callista. He's calling, okay, can you guys come match? And now they have a really early 1 through 1. I haven't seen a really early 1 through 1 start, I don't know, in probably like a year or so. It just it just doesn't really happen. Yeah, it, it is kind of weird, especially with Dragon and Herald both already taken. It's like they're actively these, searching for this too. Back. Yeah, I, I'm, I, it seems like it was, was it like a tempo Dixon's thing? Dead, no? If if FBI just presses ult here, Bjergsen yeah, just dies. He looks does he fucked. not realize he that? He has flash. Is he dodge this? But oh, doesn't matter. Like, All does, right. does he? He just didn't realize that he was in danger there. Yeah. Wow. But like, they were caught real off guard by that one. I, I feel like at the same time, like him not realizing that makes even less sense considering Ari showed mid. So like, where does he think that the enemy bot lane is? You know, like he's probably just he saw Ari. Bro, that was fucking I, weird. I, I could more understand him dying to that if Ari is in his face. Cause then he's like, oh, well 
Ari's in my face, that means bot lane's probably mid, but like, by process of elimination there, that, that really didn't make too much sense. The only explanation I can have is like, maybe TL had called that Kalista's basing. Right, like, uh -huh. that's the only bait call that I could see. It was a very confusing scenario. I don't know if anyone was really thinking straight. Yeah, I, I think yeah. it's probably just one of those things that, like, he hasn't seen some shit like that in so long that, like, he didn't yeah. recognize this play. Because, like, obviously, yeah. like, when you see it from our perspective, it's like, yeah, it's yeah. obvious it's going to happen. But, uh, it's, I mean, it's Why a pretty just fucking Fog of War unusual off? play. It's good, but not something you see often. Yeah. I wonder if Teal's response to that was right, like, instantly trying to match the swap. Seemed almost troll. Well, as you can see there, though, Silas cannot lane versus Kalista. Oh, yeah, That's just—it's not like he's no. laning. He just got ganked, you know. Like he, he would just be farming on a turret. Oh, I thought you meant their initial reaction, which is to send Bjergsen to side to get out of the Kalista. Yeah, matching. but like they didn't. What I'm saying is, like, he didn't even attempt to sit in the lane for like even a second. Like mm -hmm. Bjergsen, like he just instantly tried to get out of there. And it might not have been his call, but like. The team-wide decision to instantly change lanes seemed kind of weird, considering it's a fucking pre-10 minute swap <laughs> for yeah. whatever reason. I'm I'm always really impressed by FBI's ability to just like play a situation out. I, I noticed this about him last playoffs too, where like he gets in weird situations, but like he doesn't. He, I I think he's like one of those players that just is that just gets it. Like he just understands the game. He's not one of those dumbass AD carries that needs to be microed or told what to do at all times. Perfect. Um, like I think I think that is particularly like a AD carry type of fucking mentality or like Grimes it gets you. it's a situation made worse by the fact that like you're playing with a support that can just always tell you what to do. So you you know playing the game on training wheels you never really have to learn. Uh -huh. But I think it was cool that Abadage went bot, he picked up mid. They pushed out the wave and had a fast swap bot, and he saw the opportunity to ult and kill, you know, the overextended uh, Silas. So, like, that, the whole situation there was, like, really weird, but he plays well. Yeah. I don't think it was pre-planned at all. Like, this is not one of those, like, five-head things. Like, oh my god, we're gonna swap bot, we're gonna bait him bot, or swap mid, we're gonna bait him bot, like, we're gonna fucking pink ward this bush. Like, no, he just, he just played it all, like... Impromptu. I wonder how much of it was the fact that they had the Herald, so they're just thinking like, you know, they want to get tempo somewhere, so they just like send their duo into mid, and then yeah, they either yeah. like, if you oh oh hold up, yeah, as fuck. I heard something about scrims that I should have said right before we just saw this, but I'll let this play out first. That was so cool. Wow, hundred thieves plays so fast. I love it. Like, look at yeah. that again. They just they have a window with through bot lane. Like, I gotta point out again, it's FBI and Huhi who kind of like get a timing to go top. It just so happens that both soul lanes are there too, which is like totally crazy and random, but it was really FBI and Huhi's move that enabled that dive to happen. They just yeah. push and they fucking the, go. I, I always think this is like, it's, it's my favorite way to play. And I think the hardest thing to play against when like the other team is just like not really playing to lane it if that makes sense yeah. like anytime they get prio they're just like actually trying to move around and just like show yeah. up randomly like these plays well, the hundred thieves are making it's like yeah if, if you put all the moving pieces together you can figure out that this is possible but at the same time like there's a lot of things that are possible when you're just moving around everywhere and like you got vision yeah. control yeah it's a snowball effect right like they already had a pre-existing like vision in their jungle or like Holy ward shit, swept out on that side what'd you say <laughs> I said Vi items. <laughs> oh yeah, those that not is that weird. Rare. They nerfed uh, shield bow or not shield bow. The uh, chem tech, whatever the fuck that's chain called, sword? chem punk chain sword. Mm -hmm. Really troll name, but they they nerfed that as a rush item for junglers. But no, this game makes sense, right? There's a, there's a lot of healing going out, and Vi actually has great benefit from every single stat that it gives. So I don't hate it. Is there? But I do think she's gonna be really good. I think it's like okay, Silas, but... isn't it? Um, well, well Renata has heal. Jerry. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, just... the summoner. Wow. <laughs> it's a lot of healing. I wanted to point out, so though, that uh, a few days ago I was talking to some LCS players, not going to say who, but they said that when Core plays Renata or really any enchanter, he seems really lost, which is super 
weird. I was like saying, like, didn't Core win worlds on the Enchanter meta with like Lulu, Janna, uh, Ardent Sensor meta with Ruler? But I guess it just was never really Core's strength to play range supports, and he just looks, he just looks like. I mean, uh, basically they said he looked boosted when he played range supports. I thought that was super hmm. funny. Oh. Like always out they of position. They get the dragon and they leave. Can they heist it? <laughs> it was a it was a big heist. Yeah. Looks like a successful heist. Actually, down so much gold. Yeah, that, like their that... tempo is gonna be real fucked after that one. Hundred thieves could just look no, at that. I, I think hundred thieves actually should should feel re like be punching themselves right now for letting that go. Like that that made no sense that TL gets out without using a single flash. Like I could see them losing a 50-50 on drag and then getting fucked for it. But in this case, they actually just walked away. They lost a twenty percent HP mid turret that was gonna die anyways. To the next any timing that anyone has. Yeah, I, I don't think you're gonna get a better situation than enemy team tanking dragon, tanking the dragon 4k down. I think that should be a lot better of a result for 100 Thieves than that, but uh, hopefully they don't lose the game off of just that one mistake. Yeah, I, I don't think they need to see if drag. At the same time, though, I don't think it's that good for TL either. Like, they lost so much tempo doing that. Like, they, they got the Dragon and they got out, but they were, like, fucking 1 HP. They, like, full committed everyone to just, like, only get the Dragon. And then everything that's happened oh. afterwards is kind of a result of that. Oh, that's a, good a charm. Very, 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 very low value stopwatch. Um, what... I like that 100 Thieves just kind of backs off. They, they just get what they can get. They, I feel like 100 Thieves so often it's just five on one screen, right? This is the second time, 18 minutes in, second time that you just see them just five man. It's just... What about oh. TL? What the fuck? Ooh. That doesn't seem very good, but... Yeah, they gotta get out. Oh! oh. 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 Wait, Hold on, he's really so shit. dead. His combo, that... Fumbled it. Okay, and Core has to flash out that. He fu oh, Actually, dude, it, it's because of Cleanse. Wait, what? Or Does he, he really get to live that? That fucking makes no sense. What? Holy shit, Gore Drinker, bro. Dude, no way. Kind of TL's Somebody damage too, right? Somebody to live that. There's, yeah, if, if Hans had literally any fucking item on top of what he has, if he has literally a fucking zeal, yeah, like this item would, would have changed that. One crit, one kill. I think the way 100 Thieves is, is grouping, like, it, it makes sense in the sense that, like, say you're TL, right, and you're playing against mm -hmm. this, like, they have so much fucking force with Vi, hey. Kalista, Ari, like... Oh, dude, he... Can, can, if can he got... The... If he did that on anyone other than the guy with Clint, that would have been fine. No, but can you can you see the the disconnect on TL? Whippo E flashes in while Bjergsen is running away. Like, it's just... It's just... It's so disjointed. I, I just don't have a lot of faith in TL. I, I predicted before the series started that 100 Thieves is going to win. And the main reason is just when I watch them team fight, it's, it doesn't make sense. It's not five world class players playing on the same team together. It's like five solo queue players doing completely random shit. Um, Are you guys Discord cheating itself? No. That's yours? Right. I think um, before this series. They were doing this. Uh, they were doing this whole breakdown of like who has the advantage, right? And I think it was pretty unanimous. Everyone thought Hundred Thieves top jungle is is, is performing better than uh, Whippo and Centaurin. It's like okay, bot lane's pretty even. Okay, I I can see that. Uh, especially you know, it's kind of a little bit of faith that Core will turn it on in playoffs. And then I feel like for mid, I was I was thinking that Bjergsen has been playing better than Abadage. Like, there's a couple games in my mind where Abadage kind of ran it down, and there's a game where he got kind of carried by the fact that he's playing Seraphine mid and they came back from a really crazy deficit. Um, I just thought Bjergsen had been playing better. Oh, but yeah, I, mean, I, I, do, I do sort of wonder how much of this game is like, you, you know, before we were talking about when like every team was permabanning Kalista and then it's like, you know, do you take that gamble of leaving up Kalista and being like, you're basically asking another team like, can you play it? Like, can you yeah. correctly play Kalista? And, and 100 Thieves definitely are. Like, they've had Dude. early pressure with Kalista all game. They're using it to like rotate around yeah. take objectives i Dude, think this game amazing. honestly would look pretty different if not for that so I'm, I think I'm not it's like amazing. totally writing teal out back to what i was thinking about bjergsen like i actually think he's he's been getting gapped quite hard this game and i was totally wrong especially in game one uh i'm done i has been playing very well 
Didn't a lot of it start when like their bot lane came mid though, and then you yeah. got like caught bottom. This isn't. Really but that's been that's such a huge mistake. If, if there's gonna be six kills in 23 minutes, and you're the one that gives up the first one for free, then that's a, such a big mistake. And think about what happened when he died. They lost five plates bought with Harold. Like that's, it's about like, it's not really about how many deaths you have, but it's about how impactful each death was. That was. That was the start of the snowball. Like they fucking took an entire turret bot lane with plates up. Then they went five man top and took five five plates. I mean, top. I, like maybe maybe that, that top dive a, doesn't happen. It was just a good hundred thieves play rather than yeah, that, that's what, really that's making a mistake. Thinking. Yeah, no, that's true. It, that's like true. it, it, it uh, Bjergsen could have avoided it, but I think you know I, I look at it in this in the scope of like you know would if you did the same play against most other players and teams like would it, it, it would work? work? And I think it would probably yeah. work against yeah, most yeah, people. Yeah. It, it would work. It would work. It wasn't. Like, it was probably a full team thing, too. Like, I don't think TL is telling Bjergsen, like, yo, bro, don't push up bottom. They can come kill you. Yeah, yeah. It was probably, mm -hmm. like, they just had, didn't have the right info mm -hmm. on what Hunter like, was where getting. the fuck is their bot lane going? Like, they should have mid for three seconds. Like, did they no, you, call? You, you, like, you, you guys are totally right. I, I, I'm i saying it's super weird. I guess what I mean is, like, if TL is going to win, I think it's probably going to be through mid because it's, like... Uh, just in general, not only is, their game plan. Yeah, not only is mid the most important, but, like... It is just one of those things where no one's really sure who's better, so it's a, it's a bit under a microscope. Like top top side getting behind for TL is kind of expected, but I just thought that uh, it's pretty cool. I don't really know what item can ever make Urgot better. Uh, he just seems so easy to play against when you're ranged, and probably hard to play against if you're melee because he just is such a meat grinder and an execute. But like playing AD carry versus Zergot is a, it's like playing against Olaf. But he, you only get outplayed if like some really dumb shit happens. <laughs> you get fucking sniped through your five teammates with his ulti, or you get E flashed on. Wow, very nice reaction by someday. The fact that he's ready for that was so nice. Now Boipo's dead. Boipo That's the second time that Boipo E flashes in and just kills himself. Yep. Oh, look at FBI man. He's just gonna. Oh, run them down! No, he can't. No more. Kill them all. I just noticed first strike on Ari. Pretty uh, busted rune. Free money. Pretty. He's not also doing like the looting spell. Yeah, I, I'm not 100 percent on that one. It it's kind of busted, if in theory, but the gold it gives you isn't. Oh, oh. man, the nice hundred thieves. Try. Is, Hundred Thieves is so decisive. They didn't flinch at all. They just said we're gonna rend at fifteen hundred, and they just go for it. It's like, how the fuck can you ever steal that from the enemy team when they just call out a number fifteen hundred, eighteen hundred, whatever it is? Like they just go for it. Like I don't think it's doomed for TL. Like this game's a fucking blowout, but I think a lot of that can come down to just like the they underestimated what they could do with Callista and like didn't yeah. respect their moves oh. as well because like oh, picking yeah. Zarya into Callista isn't that like kind of whack? Dude, isn't that picking like the weakest did, laner did, did, against the strongest? Yeah, it's it's pretty troll. Hold, hold on, hold on. I, oh I'm God. fairly sure that Bjergsen just ulted the wrong person like he misclicked. There's no way he wasn't meaning to to go for FBI there. Penta, 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 Oh, but okay, you... You little Fine rat. gentleman. Wow. I, I, well, I don't know, man. That was a clean but, ass stomp. I, yeah. I don't think Hunter Thieves made a single decision that wasn't just like the best play they could have made. In in every point in the game, they made a team play involving like four to five members, and it was just so good every time. I, I kind of want to go back and watch the last fight because it looked like FBI should have died there. So Bjergsen steals Vi ulti and PP station. <laughs> Did, is this is this PP. not like? Oh yeah, he definitely is that not like a like a, a free kill on FBI? He got rooted by yeah, Everfrost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has Vi ulti. There's and no he, world where you ult Vi there on purpose. Yeah, yeah. He, he for sure misclicked. He for sure misclicked. That's mm -hmm. no way he wanted. Yeah. Okay. Almost. Dude, the strat I always want to see is like a team that plays with some big ass champion like Scion or Cho'Gath or something and then you just play to like have him sit directly on your AD carry so nobody can fucking click him. <laughs> Cho'Gath. Like uh, imagine that. You're yeah. playing against like a tiny AD carry with a huge Cho'Gath thing on top of him and you just literally can't target him with anything. Yeah. 
I always thought like, about it's that. It's one of those I... things that in theory could happen, but like I don't think I've ever seen someone deliberately do that in a game. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's so impressive how it felt like 100 Thieves didn't flinch on like any weird thing that came up. The swap, I think like even the level one where Poppy started in closest jungle and he just went double crab and like got drag. It's like they're so good at just like fucking you wake up from a coma and you're like in the middle of this weird ass situation and you you, you just have to like fucking play it by ear and it was kind of forced from them though wasn't it like the the weird situations with, like the swap uh, not necessarily the early yeah. game thing you just talked about but yeah 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 i mean some of it was created by them for sure but uh i thought it was really cool that like in a situation where yeah medios is saying this is really good for poppy because she gets like two extra camps she steals enemy camps level one totally understand that but like closer making a drag timing happen out of that was really cool too. And then I wonder how much that is from Centaurin. Like I don't know. talked about how he did some weird shit game. And like Yeah, Medio said that he he showed himself on the on the scrying orb, right? So maybe that ticked him off. Like, oh, she's she's doing her blue now. She'll probably be doing her red in like a minute and a half. So they are making a pretty educated guess about where she's going to be. So she wasn't around for the drag, but yeah, it, it was, it was everything, right? It was Teal, what Teal was doing, but I don't know. I, I, I felt some shit when I was watching Hunter Thieves this game. Like they, I, I actually think they might, yeah, they, they might've like gotten to EG's level, but that's just based on one game. Who knows? Maybe, maybe they might've reached Nirvana. Fucking stomped now. Holy fuck. Uh, it, I, I don't know what's up with Bupo's fucking counterpicks, though. Not not his fault at all that they lost this game, but he got 5p Urgot and just proceeded to actually lose his thing. <laughs> I don't know. Truly unlucky. Like, they lost Harold because he was getting pushed in top. Well, so I'm sure that was, like, best him pick. and that, like, 5 band that they had, right? Like, being pulled mm -hmm. up. The one yeah, I'm going back to Herald, seeing like how they actually got the Herald. Well, Aatrox yeah, is it, literally hitting it with Aatrox is hitting it with Vi. I, I, it is a swap actually with Duo. I, so I don't know. I, I feel like none of this was even necessarily any of TL's individual plays. Like I think it's yeah. more of just 100 Thieves doing some fucking wack as hell. Shit. Like f yeah, like five man fucking weird. And my entire team is top lane, and you guys are nowhere near. We get two free kills. My entire yeah, so, team's bot lane on Bjergsen, and he gets the first death. And it's like, it's not necessarily anything Teal's doing badly. Like, they just don't no, realize yeah. that 100 Thieves is doing this kind of shit. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, so that's uh, looking at the Herald, it, Aatro Aatrox did push Whippo in, but, like, they also had their bottom lane mid. Yeah, I, I think, uh, 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 like, I guess as a... Uh, I'm just pointing out that the counterpick didn't really seem to have Pryo. That, that's all. I don't yeah, think like yeah. Whippo fucked up massively or anything like that. Uh, and and Hundred Thieves did something amazing, like something very weird at least. Their bot lane basin went through mid to just kind of hover for Harold, and then Abadage was kind of like left. Okay, like I'll pick up the scrap spot. So that's how that weird lane situation came out because Hundred Thieves bot lane knew it. they had the timing to help Harold, and just very fortunately or maybe planned, uh, someday had Pryo top and was stacking a big wave, so. Just everything was just clicking at the right times. The creativity. Like, I'm, I'm looking at the one where Bjergsen died and like how it ended up in that situation. So it was like, uh, 100 Thieves pushed in mid. They like, or th there was a fight over the Pixel Bush and mm -hmm. like TL pushed them out and had the Pixel Bush ward. So I guess Bjergsen felt safe to farm. But like he he was disrespecting for sure. Like he had a ward in river and pixel bush, and he just didn't expect them to take the route they did, where they walked through their jungle. And I think part of it could be like maybe Berkson didn't like ward properly himself. But dude, yeah. this is something. This is a very common thing that happens to mid laners when they go side. Is like you just don't have that same game sense of like danger. 
you know, Dude. like uh, side laners are really good at like warding over the wall and like, you know, recognizing when a situation looks dangerous, but mids when they go side, like they're just, they haven't done it enough. So they just don't recognize it. Yeah. Yeah. Are you watching the, the main broadcast like live right now? <clears throat> nope. Okay, they're 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 going over this like jungle situation, and the fact that Santorin could have gotten all three camps while Close was doing Herald, but he ended up only getting Raptors because Hunter Thieves bot lane kicked him off, and and Core is just kind of like pointing in lane, hitting plates. That is actually huge, right? Like it, losing three camps for Herald sometimes can be really really game changing. He ended up losing literally just Raptors. Mm -hmm. And it's all because Hunter Thieves bot lane kind of just moved and fucking fought him off of red. Yeah. I I would say Core has definitely not dick. looked like as dominant as he has the past like few seasons. Like normally he looks like just the best support by a good margin and recently yeah. for TL he's he hasn't been bad but just hasn't stood out as much as before. TL just has five really strong and very different opinions Boys. on how the game should be played. Yeah. 0-13-0, zero, zero. like what, what a crazy fucking statement first game actually. They didn't get a single kill. That's ridiculous. Or assist. No, or assist. But they got two turrets and two dragons. And two drags. Callista banned from 100 thieves? Holy. So they're like, all right, that shit is not first pickable. I've seen the, so many best of series where it's Senna plus Tom Kench or whatever against Zeri plus an Enchanter, and it always ends in Zeri 1v5ing the game without fail. Hmm. And I'm, I'm thinking there is an LCK playoffs game that happened last week, and there is an LPL game that happened pretty recently with the same thing. Very Yumi, I'm going to bed. What do you mean? This is going to be epic and exciting. This is so poggers, man. It's the Relax. Senna counter pick. Olaf top. I guess it could be jungle. Okay, probably not Xin Zhao top. Probably <clears throat> Olaf top. Oh, why does why is Bupo allergic to playing meta champs? Because <laughs> he's transcended beyond that. You think he's just some pleb who needs the meta to win? True. He has a champion ocean. He'll go to the depths every game. The literal god. That cannot be stopped by these pleb top lane picks. Orn. Fucking Aatrox. Ugh. Hell no. When I play Zeryumi, I want my top laner to have set up for me or engage so Yumi can go in with somebody. Is Poppy not a good pick here, or pretty much just any tank top will do? Even Orn will be totally fine. Makes no sense that he would want to play Olaf, but maybe he'll I, stop. I think the idea is to punish the Aatrox. I don't think Orn or Poppy does particularly well into Aatrox in lane. Oh yeah, no, that that makes sense. I think it's just a pick for comp versus pick for lane split situation yeah I, I will see we'll see i just sometimes i'll play some shit like graves top or god in this i'm like uh it's good if conditional statement like he smashes lane now nah, but hunter thieves is the only bot lane i think that has played senna seraphine and they won the last game they played with it. I forget who it was against. It was me? Yeah. Me. Oh, Aatrox Q3. No, it's down. It's not dead. Damn. A sad the little bee. patience on the flash. Like, I would have thought maybe they could finish the kill, but he just, he knows the damage. Yeah, he didn't take very much. I think it's Dude, he, he's, Olaf. he's facing so carefully too. He's like edging toward the bush to try to bait Santorin yeah. to come out. <laughs> Legit. But not giving him E range. 
Obviously, Santorin recalled, but like he, someday doesn't know that he could still be yeah. there. Yeah. Someday has definitely gotten a lot better. No flash on Hans. Okay. Which junglers besides Vi can actually solo dragon early, like that are viable competitively? Maybe Ch viable. Viable. Good, good, good one. Good one. That was uh, that's so good, guys. Uh, nice. You said it, dumbass. Yep. Yeah, you made the joke. Yeah, and, and like that. I, it would only ever be used as a pun, so like, I'm glad you, you got that. You did it that. twice already yesterday. Hey, you you said, last game you said viable gank, so. Able Dude, to oh, kill holy Dragon. fuck. You, you like, made you, sure you to say viable. Completely yeah. picking just up what I'm putting down. You could have literally said any other word, but you said viable. <laughs> yep, you actually sure. did well, it yourself. Uh, let me get on my th thesaurus here. What, uh, what words do you guys use in place of viable? Which other jungles able to kill Dragon early? Mm -hmm. Right, able... but I could say something like fiddlesticks. How do you... Say that, you know, could be picked in a competitive game. <laughs> Likely to be seen. Meta champ. Which meta champ is able to kill Dragon early? Ooga Booga. <laughs> Monkey pick champ. Wait, what were we even talking about earlier? Viable what? Champ that can kill Drag. Oh. Solo? Because, I mean, that is one thing that, like, you know, Vi's priorities randomly gotten pretty high. After like not being played for so long, and it can't just be arcane buff. The the dragons being tanky as shit definitely I think affected it. Yeah. Damn, closer oh. just will not let Santorin take one of his fucking. Oh, bye bye. Is someday this... you are fucking dead. He is Damn. dead. Nice prediction. Call. Nice play by TL. Yeah, they they kind of baited them. Here. They baited them to the red, yeah. and then went for the play as the lane crash. That was that was pretty nice. This counter pick is putting in work now. Although it two ganks busting. in. This is generally Wait, the someday, risk of blind picking Aatrox. Is... Someday CS now? Jesus. You down yeah, so much I mean, from that. He's getting fisted now. I mean, he was already getting 25 CS down before this death, and this just made him like 35 down instead. Yeah, I mean, second gank he's gotten, and Aatrox is definitely one of those champs that like, when you pick some, you know, very good all-in type champ, they can kind of just fuck them. If the lane reaches a point where Aatrox can't just like poke you down without running the risk of getting all-in, it's hard for him. Ooh. Two soul! Oh? Oh. Ooh, what a dodge. Yeah, that was crazy E from Hansama. Very well mechanically played. Running away with this game, actually. Uh, I think... Seraphine can get to a point where she's really useful, but I don't know if she's going to be more useful than Zerayumi. That's the most Omega scaling that there is. I mean, the biggest thing on my mind about this game is like, where did all that poise from game one go for 100 Thieves? <laughs> oh, well, it's a new game. I mean, maybe they ate some gummy bears and feeling kind of drained. Uh... They they use their gummy bear buff in game one. Yeah. Amateur mistake. Amateur Actually, mistake. just so low in energy now. Uh oh. So sleepy. This, is this a play? Oh wow, he's dying too quick. Seems like a play, yeah. Jesus. Damn, bro. They're Deleted. not getting anything out of it either. Yeah, just a clean kill. Straight advantage, TL. Having a fed ass Olaf with a Yumi on the team, not a bad thing. I guess I'm kind of surprised they didn't Herald there, but maybe they knew the enemy team was missing. Yeah, I mean, it would have been like at least a decent Herald. Yeah, but they might have been scared because like, Teal's bot lane saying that the bot lane's coming. Mm -hmm. So they knew they couldn't get turret. I feel like for, I've had a lot of games where I just get fucking killed dropping Herald. Like I might even get the turret, but then like they just kill me right afterwards. I guess if you're not ready for the fight, like, you don't want to really drop Herald. Maybe that's your thought process. Yeah. Although, I don't know, this looks pretty solid to me. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? One day he's just going to start dabbing on stage. Yeah, it did, I know, right? <laughs> Wait, is this one real? This one doesn't look real. 
No counter kill. Probably one, but, but the fact that Huhi TP'd is actually so fucked up. I don't, I don't really see the point of Olaf starting the dive. I feel like you always would want Zin to do that. Yeah. Whoever does the most damage should not be the one starting the dive because they want to stay in the longest. Well, this pick actually worked out. It didn't work in the first game against FlyQuest. Aatrox won Ignite and actually solo killed Olaf, but this game... Oh, yeah. They, uh... Well, that's Philip. Well, first He's off, Philip is just the GOAT, man. He must be better than someday. That's the only conclusion, and... Yep. It's true. I, I think I think I'm starting to see Aatrox when he falls behind and he's diveable, like he's really diveable. Oh yeah, for sure. Aatrox behind is not a fun time. I feel like it just kind of snowballs because it's like when you're ahead on Aatrox, you can like you know just last hit with your autos. You don't really need to use your Q to last hit. But then like once you fall behind, you have to start trying to last hit with your Q. Then you can't trade at all and it just goes to shit. It gets messy. Hmm. That was a pretty limp dick, Harold. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I think they just had to use it, and it was about oh. to time out. What? Oh, wow! Oh, this just is deleted. not good for TL crazy. whatsoever. Oh my god! It, oh, oh my! The is gonna kill. What is happening? Uh, 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 Who's uh, winning? What's happening? What's happening? Oh, Daddy Olaf's here. That was a two for one? Like only yep, FBI two died? for one in, in, in favor of 100 Thieves. Closer oh. actually managed to kill Hans there through everything. That's through both sums and Zeri's fucking both. Uh, basically, was, four summoners. That was wild. Yeah. That was such a hard to follow team fight. Would we say that. Is it that... for you mean to go ignite exhaust here when Seraphine has cleansed? Like over a heal? No, it's it's really abnormal. Yumi almost yeah. always does heal as a heal exhaust as just double defensive because like Did you say when Seraphine is cleanse. What well, did you mean? He meant going did cleanse I... for Seraphine, then Yumi gets. Uh, I meant to say Zeri. Did I say okay. Seraphine? Yeah. 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 Well, I'm fucking cooked, I guess. <laughs> yeah, 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 it makes sense though. Usually, one run heal if your AD doesn't have it. Yeah, you're not gonna get too many opportunities to ignite. Yeah, yeah, you. It's everything, man. Feels good. I could see how he thought he would think like ignites just as much value too, because there is a lot of healing on the enemy team. There's actually five healing champs. He so if there's any game though. to do it, yeah, that that is true. Yeah. But but yeah, he he almost always in these games is gonna rush Chemtech Putrefire. So this is actually the, the most fucking value Grievous you could ever get. It is actually good big. against every single champ, <laughs> except Wukong. No, it, it's legit good against him. His passive heals a shit ton, and mm -hmm. Sunder. Really? Like it, it's actually passive? big, yeah. W Wukong, his passive and his Sunder, like his he does yeah, he a gets pretty high amount of healing. Hmm. I wouldn't think so. Oh, but... it, it's it's very relevant. I guess oh, he's right. just gonna Ooh. end up killing Huhi here. Holy moly! Wait. Wait, Hans oh, goes again? in one v three and oh just takes him out. I guess. God, are you kidding me? That's I how that watch goes. This fight again. Can he like? Can he do this through heal? I don't know, man. Dude, like, that is. I don't think Monkey Man is that OP. No. That is actually unbelievable. Hans dying there and the and the fight being good for hundred thieves. Like. Eleven. What the fuck was that? Replay the fight. That was. He, he's again, literally really hard. just getting solo killed by Wukong. Like. Yeah. That, Dude, I feel like that should not be happening. Well, yeah, Hans, Hans is getting outplayed by by closer. Like that, that's it's simple as that. He's closer's playing really well, and you know, on the flip side, Hans is not ready for Wukong jumping on him. But also, just like everyone on Hundred Thieves played that so well, like they didn't replay, really replay. Yeah, it seemed like they didn't care that who he was dying. I was like, where's the you know? Is no one gonna focus Olaf? I want to watch here, and see closer. Oh, he gets clipped. Ulti hits. No cleanse. Oh, that it's... is that is definitely why he dies. Beautiful. Oh, like, beautiful. Like Everyone global. just doing their part on that. Holy shit. Seraphine, Senna ults onto them just in a perfect line, and then Closer just cleans them up pretty much. So how much of that would you say is is 
really just Hans not reacting to Seraphine ult. I mean, he just stood in a straight line with the rest of his team and didn't press a, a button when Seraphine ult came out. If he dodges it, do you guys think that TL wins the fight? I don't know. It's hard to say. I, I think positionally it was not good Whoa. for TL whatsoever. Generally, like running into a team through a choke is like a pretty big disadvantage. Uh, I think TL should have probably stayed on Herald and then engaged when fucking dead. Dead. No, 100 walk through again. the choke. Wait, what you really have to wonder the choke? What, what is uh, I was saying like generally when there's a choke like that, the team running through the choke is in a big disadvantage. Yeah. So like yeah, TL yeah, yeah. engaged like just running into all of them, which makes makes it hard for their backline to follow up and their frontline gets focused super hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's totally true. So I think the engage was a little scuffed, but then yeah, like Han's getting hit by both globals, probably avoidable. I guess as like as like a I, I totally agree with you, but like <laughs> as a counterpoint, a global, but they, I they said could it too. be playing <laughs> off their Zeri and Ari having really amazing mobility, right? Like, cause normally I. Walking through a choke especially sucks if you don't have any movement skills, but I don't know. If there is a backline that could follow up on a, a spontaneous engage like that, it's, it's probably these two champs because they can just dash over walls. Um, yeah, but. more so than that, I don't know, dude. Like, I, I feel like just the, the, the concept of like going through a choke is like... Oh, big fight coming. Oh, oh nice again? The Hans isn't killed instantly, but... He's I mean, pretty he's walking into right a now. Silas. He's on the wrong side of the map. Oh, wait. 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 Who he dies on the backside. It seems Close like one of these It's this. over. It's over. Close your one yeah, HP. 100, 100 of these cannot fight Hans this anymore. Hans Java, or Abadage is thinking about it. Oh, wow. Nice oh, area play. Jeez. This is really good for TL. Yeah. They are going to clean everyone up here. Hans. He flashes over the wall. He E's over the wall. Actually, he didn't flash over the wall first. Why is the crowd going crazy? <laughs> because Habadag is like dodging fucking everything and he is dead. He's dead as hell. <laughs> he's dead as hell, but maybe he can execute if he's really... What? Wait. No. Huh? Shot. Wait, why did, did the payment go? go through? The payment went through. No way. Okay. I mean, I, honestly though, I, I feel like if it's only Beard going, Habadag can actually kill him. Yeah, but... A no ult right there. Hans is no. right there, though. Dude, guys, there, there's absolutely no fucking way you let that guy live when it's yeah. 1v3. Like, what when the fuck? it's Zeri attached, Yumi jumping over a wall, you never let that guy live. That that just shows Wait. you that TL lacks the killer instinct, actually. He saw that who he flashed with the whole. Yeah, was that? <laughs> <laughs> he, like, ulted his whole like... team or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That looked well, weird. Was it for the E follow up? Like, I don't. Was that, that was just a like, mistake flash, or was that... He saw everyone stacked, but it turned out to be only his entire team. <laughs> yeah. Wombo combo them. Definitely a mistake by who he... Uh, Dude, how does Abe live that, man? What the I, fuck? I, I, I still can't get over that. I still can't get over that. Like, That's pretty weird. They think that they're going to get outplayed by this low HP Silas, but like with Yumi attached to Zeri, I, I don't understand how you would get I outplayed. Yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to under like think of possible things TL thought. Maybe they didn't realize he TP'd mid, so they thought he was going to TP out and they couldn't catch him in time. I don't know. Uh, Pretty fucking weird. But like they they had some reason, right? Like or they that's wouldn't. That's true, done that. actually. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I could see they, that. They might have thought that. And, and they wanted drag. Like they yeah. had a short timer. They wanted the to focus on objective and take no risk on the uh, on the kill. Maybe they get out. You know. They they kill him, but it takes too long, or they no nope, they don't kill him because he just one shot somebody. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, I don't know. Obviously, like, oh wow, wait, he just caught core. Wait, that Kor that is recalling by himself. I know it's that it's too cringe. Super fucking suspicious, just, man. I'm telling you guys, like, that is Kor not normal. on range supports is it's, someone I check in PC, dude. Please, I, I can't get it out of my head. This idea of core on range supports being like especially bad. It's just being not his meta. Like, it makes sense. Like, this is probably the worst that we've seen core in like two and a half year, three and a half years since coming to NA, and like, it's oh. a pure range support meta it's almost. Super We're weird. To fight. Man, like, oh oh my dead. god. Uh oh. Oh, Olaf's ult ran out as soon as he got oh, in. Big war drinker, drinker though. Big war drinker. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening? Wait, he presses. 
What? Dude, okay, I don't I don't fucking care, man. This guy is fucking washed. What the fuck am I watching? Who? Dude, what the fuck am I watching? Hans is actually trolling his ass off. He's melee Zeri, bro. I didn't even this see that, like, dude. Like, what the dude, fuck? You, you should see Z, please. Like, watch this fucking replay, man. This guy is actually cringing. Like, I, I can't believe it. What the fuck? Le cringing. <laughs> Le cringing. I don't know what the fuck that was. Dude, Did I you see that, Medios? Yeah, yeah. He Where he just eat directly forward and everyone? Yeah. Uh -uh. What the fuck was that? Here we go, here we go. So Abe dies instantly, which should mean that Teal is pretty advantaged considering Teal yeah. lost to Yumi only. Really, really good start to the fight. Like they one shot Abadage before he got pretty much anything off, okay. Whippo just keeps going. I, I don't Wh hate that. I, I think Whippo messed up ulting on Zen there. Like the fact that his ult runs out before he actually gets into the fight is so huge. Well, he buys so much time with Gorjinker. Like I think he did fine. He did as much as he could. Uh huh. I think this is really on Bjergsen and Hans, like fucking this up. What the fuck was that, though? Yeah, it's I don't know. I, over, I, I, but I was, yeah, he could have kited. Initially, I was like, you know, looking at it from a vision standpoint, like TL didn't have any of the bushes worded, so I was wondering if that played a part, but it, it actually didn't. Like, they, they, there was no vision gameplay going on at all there. You yeah. See everyone. Yeah, no, it's actually sneaky, right? The team fight was, was losing, so I, he should just give up. Yeah, he has to just get out. He ha has to just give up. No, no, like, just give up his life. Uh, give up his uh -oh. life? Okay. Yeah, that's it's fair. Done. Think about it, like, you look like such a pussy if you don't ride or die with the boys. <laughs> Team died? Well, my turn, too. Uh, it's funny that Someday ends up being ignored. Maybe, maybe TL thinks that Someday's not a threat since he got fucked over so hard early, but, like, he's just in the middle slapping everyone and being He's the highest level in the game now. Yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't even notice that. But, like, you could see that Bjergsen and Hans are, like, walking past him like he just like he's invisible and they just get their fucking asses kicked because they should just be hitting the closest target i mean i don't know what else to say what else can zeri do right zeri's not great at diving she she hits the closest target she charges up lethal tempo and she plays max range that's what she does i i, I think that whoever is calling for them to just go 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 kill kill fucking i don't even know who who is being focused there i think it might have been senna like kill senna they might have just got over Fucking zealous because they actually killed one of the carries. They're like, oh, we win, yeah. we win. Go, go, go. Yeah. Whippo's alt running out is actually so huge, though. Like, he, he would have been able to, like, fuck them up if it didn't. True. Ooh. Okay. Wow, oh, that whiffed. Massive okay. zone. Ooh. Oh, Whippo's coming in. He ults. Oh, my God. Someday HP, dude. He actually doesn't. Oh, oh really nice. Oh, wow. It's Holy over. Dude, it's oh, over. Okay, so okay. okay 100 <laughs> is so Calm amazing. down. That Calm was just... down, dude. That was that such was... a well played fight. Dude, Jesus. these guys are different. That was some wombo combo, man. That was super well played. Man, I, I love the way they, they fight. Like, they're just. They're totally okay with just. This team's always been one that has, like. A lot of trust in one another. Like even with a completely mm. with Seraphine ult, like somebody just goes yeah. in, like stopwatches yeah. at a perfect time, closer follows up, really good ult, and then he stopwatches. So much of team fighting is I would argue just lit the fuck out there. So much of team fighting is everyone showing commitment at the exact same moment. And like the there's such a huge difference between these two specific teams with how they do that. It's Man, Hundred Thieves is really fun to watch. I yeah, I think EG and 100 Thieves both have looked, like, very cohesive when they're on point. Yeah. Like, TL, obviously, like, they're not a bad team by any means. They have had very good showings, but a lot of the times they also look like they're just not coordinated at all. Winning or losing, right? Like, they just have different ideas of what they're trying to do. Yeah. I mean, I, I think there's no there's no better example of a, a team that just doesn't doesn't see things the same way than that fight where Whippo is e flashing in as Urgot while everyone else is cutting back. Right? <laughs> like that's just what is going on there. Is is there no communication? Is there just is it just spontaneous and everyone has a different instinct on it? Like it it feels like there's almost never a fight where TL has five people playing for the same the same play.
Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that that's worth calling out. That Hundred Thieves is a team that stuck together through like some a lot of highs, a lot of lows, and they it shows in their gameplay when they actually are good, when they are informed, that they have a lot of trust in each other and that this is the team that they want to play on. Obviously, I think a team is always like kind of flirting with the idea of roster changes and like replacing somebody who's problematic or playing poorly, but um no, this is a team that they all chose to play with, and it definitely, it definitely feels good knowing that, like a, a real solid team that stuck together for a really long time. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Wait, they're whipping out the zillion already? Yeah, it's 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 match point. They need <laughs> it's about to whip something damn out. Time. <laughs> Oh I'm god. Done, it's time to FF. Bjergsen shaved his beard, dude. I don't think he ha still has the, the power of Zillion. <laughs> hey, we get to see Koron not an enchanter. Let's see how that works out. Oh, we're gonna get to see Whipple on Urgot. It's the first time he's picked it uh, since game one. That is true, man. Whipple so says, bad. I will not pick a fucking meta champ, man. Like, Urgot's broken. I'm How getting my Urgot world strategy. Skin. I, I just, I really, I think it's interesting that they didn't really target out anything in particular. Their bands were Trundle, Draven, and Nasir. It's probably the three champs that are most annoying for them to play against. And uh, yeah, they basically just targeted everyone on the enemy team's best champ. That's the power of blue side. I think people always wonder like, oh, so why is blue side so broken, right? Like, well, what about it makes it so OP? It's just a draft. Like the side, the side of the map, small factor, but the way that draft goes for blue side where you have like two to three free bands, matters a lot. I, I have always been interested in that question. Like if there were, if they separated like the sides of the game with like first pick and draft, if those were independent of one another. So like, Red side could be first pick, right? Yeah. But would That'd that change anything? That 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 could be a cool switch up. I would uh I would not be that comfortable playing Lucianami against Leona. It's it's scary as fuck. As Lucian? Yeah. It's hard mm. to dash in. It the E clips your your dash pretty often if, unless you do it immediately. It's hard to get a clean dodge of Leona Z, actually. Hmm. A lot of times you're really focused on doing the max damage combo, so your E will be like pretty delayed if you're fighting someone. Poppy is really like the solo Raptor. What start. the fuck is going on with Whip? Oh, man, oh. like that's oh. an even trade. I I oh. think he's very lucky that that is. <laughs> he got triple fucking crit cued. <laughs> and it was even. He and he oh, missed his E, and it was even. He just keeps going. Uh-oh. Uh. Another one. Four crit cues. Oh! The Dukes! Game time oh, you're behind. You're behind. <clears throat> Look at Santorin's pathing. He's like... Going super long. Trying to dodge any wars that might be in the spot jungle. Looks like they really want to make a bot play. Oh? But Core goes in too early. Now he doesn't have E for the gank timing, so it's it's actually pretty. I don't think hard. they know it's warded. I don't remember oh, clear on the ward, yeah. Goodness. Oh my god! If you're, if you're oh. hundred thieves, do you do you suspect something here? Like, is the way TL playing looking fishy? Yes, absolutely. They're pretty forward. Yeah, yeah, they're they're forward. And, and Centaurian showed losing. on the ward anyways, so there Boy. is that. Did he? FBI, they're they're bro. not playing like they see him on a ward. No, it's hmm. it's fine. That's Double too flat. Right, come dive. Someone dive. Someone dive. Someone dive. Come on, Bjergsen, leave your lane. Come bot. Oh, pizza. Man. TL looks so desperate. This is not a good look for them. A free Star Guardian Kaisa. Whoa! For a small fee of $75. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually hilarious. <laughs> Free for seventy five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what a deal! <laughs> 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 
This Can this Poppy more standard enchanterless comp is actually probably gonna make Tia look like a lot better. Although I don't know if it's gonna work. What do you mean enchanterless comp? What's that mid laner? Yeah, dude, Zillion, the champ that can like fucking half health chunk you is an enchanter. Actually, that's par for the course for an enchanter. What am I saying? He is. Yeah, Zillion is definitely an enchanter, bro. Beads your ass up and makes you unkillable. I don't know what else enchanters do. Straps a bomb to your chest. Yep. Uh oh. Oh! Wow. Is that no! Really a play? Didn't seem like it. Like, they don't have enough burst to kill him. Yeah, that was a fucking troll. Yeah, they were off by like 100 ish damage in the CC chain. Yeah, there's no way Poppy's gonna finish someone like that. Unless he is six. Yeah, I think if he was six, that's definitely a kill. He's five to level eight on mid. Jesus. I mean, do you feel bad, though, like getting Zillion all for Poppy Flash if you're trying to set up Herald? Doesn't. Well, awful. yeah, nice. I think Poppy's Flash is pretty, pretty powerful stuff. I think it feels pretty terrible. Hmm. Oh, I wow. Think, I think Jill you definitely actually has... don't kill him either. Like, you leave him at one if you're not going to actually... What? Him. Yeah, true. Dude, no. Zillion just TP'd bot lane. That was a herald timing for them, was it not? Wait, what the fuck? What yeah, he just like, dropped mid and TP'd bottom later. His whole team was poised for Herald, and now 100 what Thieves just gets fuck? to start it. That oh. made absolutely no sense. Actually, he, he might make it if Teal is in trouble. He will here. make it, but like, I mean, you want to be decision is not any, checking them? any more weird. I mean, it, it, it seems fine right now. It, it was weird as fuck, but it ends up being okay. The result is fine, but he TP'd bottom for literally four CS. Yeah. And then he walked immediately back to Herald. It made no oh, sense. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Wait. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, Close your guys. Oh, actually punished oh the flash usage. <gasps> Weebo died instantly. Weebo down. Yeah. yeah oh, Teal's not even gonna be able to grab the Herald. Dude. Santorin, in for it, in for it, in for it. You know you want it. Dude, these fucking team fights, every game are actually Oh, insane. no, you are going to bomb on the ground. <gasps> He's dead. He's dead. dead. <sighs> he actually walked into a bomb that was already on the ground. He for gore. He for he Gora was there. Figure. Skull emoji. <laughs> and you see that again? Whew. So the Poppy Man, the, goes I wide. I they had Vision on this, like that ward in the back of the pit. Yeah, that was massive. That, that was... And, and then he just gets stunned and act, literally killed off that. And oh, dude. But we both ulted it and didn't get any value. He didn't get the fear. And he just yeah. dies. It could have been crazy if you got the fear. Hey, you could flash in with it. Yeah. How did he not get it? Did he just, like, the get Poppy died too, too quick. Yeah. Uh, I guess it was a one shot from 25 to zero. Damn. Cause, that's cause, pretty big. Yeah. You definitely want to, like, as a team, I don't know how hard it is to coordinate, but, like, you definitely want that air girl going off. What I love to see is how a team, a good team, plays from behind. Any team can stomp when they're ahead. Any team can can snowball a lead. But like, how does a team play when they're behind? Last game, Hunathus was actually pretty behind uh, at one point, and they, they just clawed back in team fights. And actually, it was it was just a scrap. There was a few team fights where it went TL's way as well. Um, but then this game, yeah, it's it's pretty similar. I would say they're they're definitely on the back foot in terms of wave clear and just it seems like tl just has so much more time to yeah, spend I, i've enjoyed watching like every team fight in the series so far like all of them are just actually back and forth it's not just like oh one team is just wombo combo insta dead yeah or like one dude gets caught it's like actually like you can barely tell who's winning especially in game one like those were super close yeah like tl almost got one kill the whole game <laughs> Wait a second. Not in game one, but... What the uh... fuck? It doesn't go with my point at all, you bastard. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. That's my bad. This that, that was a strange turn of events that just happened right there. Like, if you notice, the TL just went down for drag, right? But was it worth? Uh, they gave quite a lot of farm and plates topside. It's 12 minutes in. The plates are still down. And now they have to do... 
I hate this walk of shame where you like go back and you like uh -oh. catch the waves. Uh, it dead. gives the enemy team a time. I was about to say, it gives the enemy team a massive timing. You do this walk of shame all the way back to your turret. That TP earlier from Zillion that like he wasted on bot, it like it just created so much value for hundred thieves. They just get a a free turn and all they gave up was drag, right? Like. Is Drag gonna win TL the game? I, I think the gold lead kind of just evaporated the last two minutes. Oh, it's mm -hmm. Cloud Drag though. I, I've heard that's pretty powerful. Yeah, that's true. You're it thinking of the soul, actually. Oh. Look look at the way that Bwipo died when the enemy team had a timing, and then now watch 100 Thieves, the way they play on their weak side. Both soul lanes are just together because there's no drop for Someday. He knows he can't go top. Yeah, I, I really like what Someday is doing here. I, this is something that I think a lot of people don't look for is just the idea of like you go mid and then you you can even do something like you can yeah, make, you make a play pressure. on mid you can clear vision you can hold the wave while your mid laner shifts bottom like you actually get so many more options instead of like, jacking what, off around the turret yep yeah like like the, the newbie play would be like you're sitting there like spamming for help being like yo guys like i can't for man like just, just, just fucking team gab like <laughs> like that is just fucking Actually, Sne cap. Sneaky was the one that taught me how to do that shit uh, when I'm getting zone bot. You, I think it was like, you and Smoothie were the first bot lane to really do it a lot. And then I remember when I was playing with Soren, he would get so pissed off because he's like, <laughs> why the fuck are we ganking bot when <laughs> they just <they're>... leave? <laughs> yeah, it's like we're not getting anything and now I'm getting fucked mid by their bot lane. Yeah, yeah, it's super I, annoying. I think, I think shifts or swaps are like easily the best way to get out of a, a bad situation in game. It yeah, just requires yep. like a, a lot of like trust in your teammates and like everyone knowing their part and like how to play out the swap, especially based on like where the enemies are and recognizing what plays are available. Yeah, a shift is the best way to like one of the best concepts to teach someone how to play macro. I mean, right there, Abadaga goes bot right to kill to kill Bippo. So what does someday do? Mid for him, his mid laner is empty, so he goes and covers that. If that's not a, a team that's like playing together, then yeah, I don't know what is. They are very. Mm -hmm coordinated you also have like so many other options too like if Ari is mid like you can be there to like maybe look for like allow Ari to get the push and then you and Ari can like walk into the jungle to like deny the camps from their jungler if he's trying to get him like there, there, there's a lot you can do that's not just like throwing up your hands and being like fuck this I'm I'm getting denied the way that <laughs> Bjergsen has been playing side lane this game is making me a little bit annoyed he just let the local gold on turret go but he has a deep board you can see that on on red side, they have so much deep vision. There was no reason for him to be scared there. And he's going to TP back anyways. Ooh. Earlier, he TP oh. oh, 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 my, oh my God. God. Abe kind of trolling with that one. Oh, wait, full poppy whiff. Oh, no ult oh, on oh, oh, the fear. Oh, my God. Close is dead. Bjergsen didn't ult Leona. Do you think he should have? Or is it better just let him go? <gasps> Damn, uh. we got ourselves a series, bro. Bjergsen actually whipping out the zillion. Wait, say again? Soon Core will whip out the Braum. You said closer ult, or what did you say? No, I was saying, Bjergsen should Bjergsen there. have ulted Core? Yeah. Oh. Could slash should. I think probably, yeah. Like, if it's I a stomp, it's... yeah, you may as well. If it's a close fight, though, you wouldn't want to ever ult support. Yeah, it's just like, if they're like the only one taking again. damage like this. Yeah, yeah, I didn't I mean, He I might didn't have not even see. been ranged. Like, Leona did end up pretty fucking deep in there. That's Wait, a lot he of just time TP'd into their face and ate a double bomb? That yeah. is... Yeah. yeah. That was pretty much. I guess if you don't play against Zillion that much, you wouldn't recognize that as a risk. Yeah, I mean, he's it right next like to a good him. Ult. It looks like a good ult, yeah. Oh, wait, it's not up. Or maybe the UI's bugged. UI's I think UI's bugged. bugged. Uh, God, that's so annoying, man. Yeah. Small indie company, calm down. <laughs> Just the guess if things were like actually available or not. Oh wow, Bjergsen survived that. That was nice. Merc tread Zillion. Chills. The biggest problem with playing against Zillion is the feeling when he gets ahead that he just disables like every single chance that you have of winning a fight because you cannot one shot somebody. You can't even really dive the AD carry to take out a damage dealer immediately. You basically also just very have to... hard to do anything against him in lane. He just straps yeah. bombs to his minion's chest and sends him in. True. He's this a monster. Does not look that good for hundred thieves. Doesn't oh. look like it's a Chunked. 
Thieves is. I think, I think, I think this is good for 100 huh. Thieves. Yeah, I mean, it ended up being pretty good. Santorin got chunked really hard. I, I thought initially when they were, like, poking him down, they could do something, but I guess they just didn't see the angle. I Mr. like Harold. I like this I like this movement by TL that they just take the fast route into turret without mm -hmm. any hesitation. It just cuts off how Thieves to be able to defend. And like on the flip side, I I respect that Hunter Thieves didn't even try to like call them out on this bluff. Like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna walk back to our turret. They just decided, yeah, that turret's gone. It's it's a cost of drag. And mm -hmm. they immediately started pushing bot. So I think both teams played that really well, actually. You would not see both teams playing a macro play like that very often. <laughs> yeah, just saying, accepting up. that, like, accepting the cost of your decision, right? Like, they can get yeah. mid here. Like, if we try to hold it, it's going to be much, much worse than if we just let it go. Yeah. Like, truthfully, you would, you would probably see an Ari just kind of beeline it to mid and not be pushing out bot there. But, like, that's the cost that TL has to accept, too. It's like, oh, they get dragged. They're first to bot. We're first to mid. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, I think that actually was maybe better for TL just because like they got what, did they already have the tier one or did they get tier one and tier two uh they got both but tier one was kind of immediately just one shot by Harold so I don't yeah think there was anything I mean, I Thieves that, could do about that that with the whole top side vision like or sorry taking like the whole top jungle like it, it doesn't really leave 100 Thieves with much to do afterwards yeah which is pretty good for them now they can just like you know grab all their camps they have vision they can track whatever Hunter Thieves decides to do and just react accordingly. Yeah. This game is looking pretty good for TL. Yeah, yeah. That I, I do like the the thing you said about just like seeing what Hunter Thieves looks for, like E flash miss. That <laughs> is really awkward. Yeah. Dude, if what's hits... up with Core? He actually just like is so off his game. Everyone goes through slumps. Yeah. This is just core slump. The slump. God. Well, time to fucking open Draven and ban a uh, Zillion from now on. <laughs> that champ is just too comfortable. Whoa, you think whoa, all whoa. of TL is just begging Bjergsen like, dude, come on, just, just play Zillion play every one game, trick, man. Like, <laughs> yeah. pull him out, man, please, man. It's yeah. Whoa, 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 it's game whoa, whoa. point. Whoa. Oh, I would argue cancel Santorin's ult or Santorin's Q. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, wait. Han's going hard. for a ride. Not really much to do afterwards. Actually, there's just a disengage. There's legit no objectives. That's kind of crazy. A fight broke out there. Mm-hmm. Like a full on five v five. Yeah. Normally it's like. Like it says, TL uh, wants the bottom tier one, right? So then Hundred Thieves is just gonna think about where they're gonna try to get vision and. Look for something around there. Yeah. It's just normally ready not for it. literally five people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. The best games is when both teams eyeball a random fight over a ward and say, this looks good for us. Like, it, it, that, that's the best. Like, the, the most boring is, like, one team consistently thinks this is good for us. One team is like, nah, I don't, I don't want to fight at all here. Oh. There's just no action. Oh he my god, flash. Poppy's just getting straight one shot. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, uh, he's just Unlucky. Fucked. Centaurin is level 12, by the way, to 9. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wow. He held that Q way too long. Did they not want to just There's let no him threat. die in Zillion ult? I don't know. It's not even anyone being close to dead. They haven't blown Zillion ult yet. If anything, he should just stand there and just yeah, fucking yeah, die like a man. Yeah. yeah. Mm, true. What a fucking crazy uninteractive game so far, though. Dude, Urgot has actually looked pretty useless in so yeah. far with this counter pick. It doesn't necessarily win lane, and it's not really getting anything off. Having any tenacity here would have completely changed it because he doesn't get chain stunned, which then results in him getting vile to not being able to flash out. Yeah, it's why a lot of people, well, maybe not a lot, but like, People will oh, sometimes oh, run oh. precision secondary for yeah. legend tenacity. Oh my god, big fight. Oh, oh he's uh, out. Again, oh, wait, Hans Hans? just getting pwned. Oh, dude, he has to back up, too, because they're not killing him. Yeah, oh, hold up. Oh, oh my god! Oh, yeah. oh my god! Wait. Wow. <laughs> what just happened? He just sliced their asses. He just 
fucking pulled of the shy on them. Oh, what? wait a okay. sec. Still winning for TL. What the fuck? That was Dude. wild. Dude, these fights are insane, man. They are, they are nuts. They are nuts. What I'm gonna need to replay. I, I missed I cannot, someday. I was looking at Urgot. I cannot believe that 100 Thieves lost the fight after the start. That was a perfect beginning, and then just they couldn't so end the bad fight. For TL, because like I said, Zillion yeah. ulted Hans, and 100 Thieves and just left didn't kill him. Yeah. yeah. They're Holy not gonna shit. get that chance again. The only reason why they couldn't kill him is because someone stopped watching his face. So it just left Hans with nobody to hit, so it wasn't a priority Did, for them to finish the kill. Beepo's E here seemed pretty fucking oh, weird. Oh, so, so Hans spell shielded the Nami. Like, he walked into it to spell shield it when he could have just probably yeah. sidestepped Dude, it. Dude, look at that right there again. Bwipo goes in and Core flashes, or sorry, Bwipo E's out and Core goes in. That's the yeah. exact same thing. Watch Hans here. Both people want it to be just fucking oh. gold. <laughs> he gets so much gold. Oh my god. And then they lose this after, which is totally insane to me. Okay, the charm goes wide. Oh, oh Vi still Vi had ult, ult that late. Vi still yeah. has ult. If I'm Jeez. Lucian, I'm like, what the fuck? Why does he still have ult? Ooh. Oh, this this is uh, this Damn. is over. This Dude, is over. Beepo got a lot of value that fight. He he fucking yeah. owned him with the fear. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit! I was just Actually, shit talking Urgot, and then he bones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, I, I I have mixed feelings on Urgot. Like, oh. I don't think he's bad. Oh, he's fucking dead. FBI. Yeah. FBI just dies here. Wow, he was so overextended. Forehead. <laughs> Bjergsen 1 HP, dude. Oh my Wait, god. Just... Someday's actually fucking owning them too, but it doesn't matter. Someday's this... Aatrox is quite goaded. Like, if you're thinking about how to perfectly play around Zillion, like, you definitely play it this way. Like, you just don't kill a guy with Zillion ult. And they're yes, actually yes. just terrified. Like, unless they're just instantly one-shotting you and you have to kill them, this is so yeah. much fucking... But then, so but then better. it's like, do you want to get, do you want to get machine gun down by a full HP carry later, or do you want to? Yeah, later uh, in the game, survive it's a hard him for one. a little bit now. Yeah. Right. The, the thing that's interesting about Zillion Alt is like, it's half the stasis time of GA. So like, the person actually comes back very fast, unlike GA where they're like out for a while. Yeah. What's the timer? Oh, is it is it like Zillion or? It's two. It's just two, so it's shorter than Zillion. Yeah. 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 That's such a That's weird timing. So it's so hard. You have like the exact same play. animation as GA too, so it was just like really fucking scuffed. And I think a big reason why people had trouble timing like both of those things is yeah, it's like it'd be like a stopwatch in Zonia having a different timer, like but looking the exact same. <laughs> Dude, they're off by like point one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's still the case, but before there was like tick rate server things, like it would be a. A variable yeah, amount is. of time that it would last. It still feels that way. It, it, it yeah. is. Yeah, that that shit's scuffed. It yes, feels like is a whole reason that these guys are tanking. Oh, that was amazing. That num, was num, amazing. Num, 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 oh, num, num, dude, num. this combo is actually fucking gas. <laughs> Bjergsen just fucking open himself to the turret. Yeah, for the turret. And he's full health. Good Jesus. That was. What's this champion man? That was so broken. Well, FBI cannot play against this. Just... Yeah, there's, there's actually just nothing to do. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's just lost. You think so? Yeah, I think it's probably lost here. My expert opinion. That is an opinion. Oh my god, what the fuck? He's dead, but... He's Jade. Okay. Zillion He's resurrected back. by Aatrox ult. <laughs> Zillion ulti is actually back, boys. Wow, dude, some they tank like everything there. They they probably could have ended it if that wasn't the case. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah, that was nice. Wait. That was like that Jax hero this could play be a someday soul did. Win condition for 100 Thieves. Randomly, yeah. Yeah, they, they should get like, it. T TL fucked up at a really bad time. It's 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 Mountain Soul point for 100 Thieves. So if they get this, which they will, and then anything goes bad five minutes from now. Now, obviously, it's extremely, extremely unlikely that TL would ever lose a fight. Honestly, even so these they... stats are good, too. Just having the mountain drag. I, I think they're still fucked. Like, the they're only reason that was remotely still... close is because Bjergsen didn't have ult because he ulted himself for fun. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. He's, he legit true. did a sustain ult. Dude, look at that Urgot range. He's not even close. Yeah. Yoink.
He flashed over the poppy? No, poppy didn't shoot at him. Pearson just got solo killed by the turret that fight. <laughs> he was one inch from dropping aggro in the bush and he just kept it the whole time. Does Lucian do damage with these items? He looks quite limp. He's a Nami facilitator. Yeah. Nami does the damage and he just <laughs> fucking yep. doesn't. <laughs> yep, that's why he, you know, goes Gale and not Kraken, rapid fire and not anything else. Fucking Cyril does, like, he, he is just there for Nami. How does Nami's E damage work with regards to, like, Magic Pen? Like, would Lucian need Magic Pen boots to make Nami do more damage, or is it based on Nami's pen? I think it's... Lucian's? I don't know. I can see it going either way. Hmm. So, I, I feel like, wouldn't there be, like, good Nami synergy with, like, AP champs who get Stork boots and whatnot? I actually don't know. I'm saying, like, I feel like you would see more combos of, like, Nami, not necessarily leaning with, like, having some, like, flat pin based champion that she could buff and just Wait, fuck people. Wait, I know I've seen Nami quirky. Oh, might wow. actually die for this. Oh, he's got Bjergsen there. But this is you not the best him? fight that... that no. Oh, oh, again? He doesn't ulti his fucking teammates! He just lets Does him Bjergsen die! Hate core JJ? I, it might be the right decision. I don't know. It really depends, wait, man. Wait, closer. Oh. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Someday got eaten. Oh, someday, yeah. Hans oh, does Hans get ulted. Oh, there you go. Oh, they perfect there, there, time is he going to block it? He's going to block it? Yes. He blocked the charm. If it was even up. Oh! oh no, they can't that go. is a ELW e right yeah, there. Yeah, wins. It, it was the right decision in the Are end. Are you going to flash on him? Are you going to flash on him? Get a flash. Come on. He's going to... Oh, my. Nah. That's really good restraint and poise there from Pons. I think he actually learned something from Thunder Thieves game one. That's a good point, Medios. Well thought out. Thank you. Why doesn't Zillion Bomb do damage to turrets? It's an explosive. It should do double damage to turrets like Zig's W. Yeah. Well, I don't know if and TL bring it back. Silver Thrave. Uh, uh, uh reverse actually, sweep. it's 2 1 right now. Uh, not really a reverse sweep yet. They still need to hold another game. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna take my dog out real quick. Oh. Okay. Games. Beer beat. Okay. I'm gonna go pee. I'll be back. Okay. Solo again, I guess. Dude, these games are so much better than yesterday's. I'm actually pogging my balls off to these team fights. Until the game's one sided and then it's clear. But even that last fight was kind of close. And TL really wants to win because they pick Seraphine. <laughs> they want it. They really want it more right now. They want silver scrapes as we do. It's just so obvious from the very beginning. TL wants it more. Like, that's all there is to say. <laughs> Well, based on the games, it actually looks like 100 Thieves might want it more. I am shocked they don't just pick Yumi here, but okay. Well, one thing you really, really, really want with Seraphine is a tanky comp. Heals and shields get exponentially more value. The tankier your team is, the yeah, more heals like and shields bruisers. they have. Yeah, yeah. Not like hard tanks. Rocks, just... fucking gore drinkers, death stance. Yeah. yeah. As soon as you can start Riven. rolling over multiple healing CDs, it just becomes a, a matter of like, do you do you like meet the stat check? If if you can't do more damage than I'm healing, you will never kill me, literally. Uh, so that's why people tend to pick tanky comps with Seraphine. They ban they didn't ban Lulu. I guess they don't care. Maybe who he doesn't. Nope, he played it first game. What am I saying? Maybe who he doesn't play Louie to sec. But like, why ban Renata? Is Renata Zeri actually a combo? I don't think so. It's not very good. Doesn't sound good. I mean, they also did that first game. TL is so weird. Like, they picked it the first game. They picked Renata Zeri and it looked like shit. Were, what's the synergy? I don't understand. Well, I, I guess it was versus Callista though. Maybe, maybe that kind of yeah. makes it so he didn't really see it. Yeah. Of all the enchanters, I mean, 
Renata just seems pretty mid tier, I guess, with Siri. There's just two that stand out, and they left one up. Pretty mid. And that... Nocturne. Uh, this is an easy Zeri pick, and then I, they have to blind top. But like someday, he's like seems so comfortable, he can just play anything. Giga Chat. <laughs> yeah, there we go. What's the counter? I don't know. If they pick Lulu, I like Hunter Thieves comp a lot. TL has a win condition though. They have Seraphine. Just remember how broken that champ actually is. They need physical damage top here to round out the comp. No way. No. No way. Not to troll. Dude, no, it he might it might be real. It might be real. That would be fucking crazy if he picks Shiv top against Orin. Never seen matchup in my life. Okay. Set. There More you physical That's damage. A That's what you need. More physical damage. Sure. Gotta keep in mind, Teal has no AD carry, so the more physical damage they can pile on, it's gonna be hard to itemize against. We do like the set. Zeri's particularly good against set, though. It's hard for her to get caught by any of his abilities since she fucking goings the shield. Oh. Dude, you gotta forget about Zeri's, like, passive with that. Yeah, and I, I think that's actually part of I thought about it some more, and it's like, she has like so much random bullshit in her kit that like. I'm done counting. Runon's hurricane, Runon's plus Titanic Hydra or whatever. The Tiamat bolts just like going up and hitting random shit. It's like, I don't know. It feels, it just feels really good. Changed my mind a little bit about that build. It's not mm. as bad as I thought. I'm back. You yeah. guys started the game without me. Nice. Oh, my bad. My bad. We couldn't wait, man. What were you talking about with Smite? Optimization. Well, it's just like when I, whenever I start blue as a jungler, I, I smite Gromp over to me so then I can do both the camps at the same time as opposed to smiting blue. It's not really a big deal to... Oh. Why did he flash? Ooh. Honestly, what, like, you, you would never live that in a million years, so like, why flash? Because he's a piece of shit. Mm. Sorry. Jesus, man. What I was the just. Fuck? I, I nice thought joke. I was playing off your energy. I misread it. I'm sorry. Gas. You're making fun of me saying, uh. Everyone else is trash. <laughs> just a joke. <laughs> I'm gonna do my Meteos impression now. Do it. Perfect CC chain, timing wise, Ooh. could not have been better right there. Could be great. Again, if, if he flashed instantly, I think he's actually out. Yeah, yeah, he could he could have totally gotten more value. No. He could have traded flashes, right? Like make them double flash after you, make that sketchy, make them take some turret shots for that kill. But doing it late. I uh, so in, in his defense with the flash, he did hit a two man W, and the birds were on the way to heal him. Like they heal him a pretty decent amount. Oh, I see. So I think I that's what I didn't he was actually going for. know how how much of a heal that would have been. It's a decent amount, like. Yeah. I feel like two together would be over a hundred health. I, yeah. I don't know. Swain was my autofill mid for a while, but I I kind of moved on. Fell off. What what, what the fuck is TL comp by the way? You don't like it? I think it's fine. Is it? Where's the sustained damage? Well, Seraphine. Who kills Orn? Yeah, I don't know. It it it's really about staying alive. It's not really about killing anyone else. And I I, th I think I think TL could very easily have a fight where like no one on their team dies. They just keep getting massive value out of heals, staying in combat. I... Or something like that. I'd be surprised. I guess we'll see. I think their complex is sus as fuck. And I've never been wrong before. True. Oh, I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. Medius is right here. I like. I do like seeing set though. I feel like I haven't seen a set in quite a while. Dude, you missed level one. Top lane's a fist fight. Uh, oh, actually, this game for real, for real. Uh every every game this one someday just couldn't even walk up on the first wave he was getting 
zoned for a Punched. long time. Mm -hmm. I, I want to watch like pro top laners and see how they come back if they get behind. Because every time I play top, it, it just feels like the most snowball shit ever. Like if, if I get ahead, it's going to be a good time. If I get behind, it, it's not going to get better. Yeah. I, I don't know how they did Like last game someday, like he was getting, or sorry, two games ago, he was getting like fucking dove on every wave and then somehow ended up highest level in the game. Like... I feel it? I feel like more in touch with what a top laner would do because it feels like right now as AD carry you really need to pick your time to group and and like be sacrificial because like the best AD carries are the ones or the best players are just the ones that know when it's time to power farm and know when they just should move and give up a little bit for like a percentage play. I think that's what I think that feels like Similar to top lane, where Nobody like fucking said header behind you, you have to pick some time to, to. Oh. Wow! Oh. Wow! That was close. One more. That was close shot. to killing Centaurin, man. Or maybe he changed his opinion. Could have changed his opinion. That that seems pretty sacrilegious nowadays. Whoa! Can't be changing your opinion. You gotta say one thing and stick with it. Hold up. Until you die. TL does not want to let this dragon go. No. Nah, Hit him with the Swain W. Fight. Swain W. Bjergsen, get him. The Swain Dab. Swain Dab. I have the Empire. Whoa. Oh, what the what? fuck? Surely oh that's my. a suspicious he's target taking to do that too. no damage until he's dead now. Never mind. What? In that was God's bit weird. name was that. I don't know. Wait. I guess that guy kind of had the flash there, yeah. <laughs> I'm so fucking surprised at what I just watched. Wait, what was that nocturnal? Yeah, the nocturnal was weird too, but what the fuck? Junglers are losing their was minds. Legit. Light PayPal from uh, closer there. That didn't make too much sense. God, dude, like the I Herald value like, at least so knew what they low. were looking for, but like, what the hell was he looking for there? I sure Let's fucking tell assassinate you. the Nautilus with his whole team right there. <laughs> I don't know, dude. They're like trying to go in with combination of blue wall, which it did work, and he didn't die instantly, like Vi. But <laughs> I don't know. Yep. So he sees TL all on top side. I guess Nautilus gets charmed. He gets chunked a little bit. <laughs> but flash ulti in. He knows he's super important to kill. Quite aggressive. Wee, wee, wee. Yeah, I guess he thought he would one shot him. Bit of a miscalculation, I'd say. Yeah. All in all, though, the fact that 100 Thieves is 1k up, like, it's not too bad. It just feels like the game is getting tossed right now. TL's two drags in. They're pretty fucking powerful drags as well. I would actually be much rather be TL. Not just the stats, like, overwhelming the 1k gold lead, but the position in the game where it's real scary for the enemy team to ever mess up round drag. I tried one normal game one time where like everyone bought a redemption because I was like, what if we just five man redemption someone? Like, what would it do? And it, it was really, really bad. I don't recommend it. <laughs> it was so fucking bad. I mean, it gets reduced per redemption, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I I knew that, but like, you know, it's still just one of those things. Like, I'm not expecting it to be good, but I just want to see like how it is. Just curiosity. And it, it sucked ass. Like, it was really bad. I think the fact that it, it, it feels like it's almost flipped from what you said, where it feels like 100 Thieves doesn't do any damage. Like, they can't kill anyone on TL's team. There's too much healing and shielding. Wow, that Warn ulti was horrendous. And now Closer's just gonna... Oh, but that Warn... That... Oh, wow. How is Hans consistently... I was going P. Oh, no. What oh. happened? Oh, oh, FBI melee range! Oh! Oh, oh, but wait, Swain. Yeah, Whip, Whippo can actually yeah, close this. Oh! Do they, though? Do they, though? Oh! 
Oh, oh my God, just oh, barely missed time. Choke. Or was that tick rate? What was it? I don't know. Or is it a miss time? I don't think it's a choke at all. That's so hard to do. Is it? I don't a think it's perfect that hard. timing charm on someone's flash? Yes, right. it's super hard. It's not that hard. We'll see it again. You guys like, are idiots. I, I feel we like can go into a custom it, it, game. You can go to a custom game right now. I'll fucking buy a, a stopwatch or a Zonia's and I'll press it. And if you if I if you let me play if you let me do flash on it, like especially in a high pressure situation, then you're boosted. I guess it's really hard. This oh, ulti was hard. that, that this was not a high was pressure. Not, that was the opposite but, of high pressure. Like nothing is happening. I'm sure, we're in a game here where results matter, but that's pretty chill. He wasn't like gonna die, you know. I mean, I, I feel yeah. If it's an if it's a situation where that's like the only thing you're looking for, and, and you like if you can tart them and see the buff duration, I don't think it's that hard. Depending on the skill shot, yeah. Let's see it. I I, I literally think this is one fraction of a second it. too early. That's all it is. Like yeah, don't. It, it, it I literally don't... faded. It's gone. You can hit that for sure. He mistimed it. Yeah, you can, but it's not easy. I think he mm. should have just charmed him. No, it, it's it's over time. It has gotten easier because you just M get used 17. to it. Wow. Facts. Oh. Big oh, facts. FBI's. Uh oh. 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 They just Instantly exploded. Explosion on two. He's kiting. They literally exploded. He's getting yeah. kiting. Oh fuck! That's Swainy. What the hell? Oh. What even killed them? Was that? My goodness. Sets W. Let's go, Liquid. And you guys were flaming me when I said silver scrapes, huh? Silver scrapes. Huh? Silver scrapes? You mean? Dude, Merc tread, Merc tread, Merc tread. God. Damn. Wait, somebody got pulled so far there. Sadie yeah. and Sweeney. Yeah, that, that was a lot. That looked weird. <laughs> so Buipo's on full power or, on his somebody's, grid. Somebody's ornalties have been so suspicious, though. This, so the last one just straight oh. whiff on everyone. And... 577 damage to Orn. They double fisted. It, I, it's hard, though, in Nocturnal. Like, he doesn't see shit. That's oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't realize that somebody was nocturnal ulted. That totally yeah. Well, why doesn't he just turn it off like we have? Like yeah, I, I can see it easily. Why doesn't he just toggle vision? Hmm. That's funny actually. How different it feels. The game is scripted. No matter what, they have to go to game five, and the results are up to them. So basically, just playing a best of one. With four for fun games. Yeah. I think they're pointing out that Zeri is going to start doing a lot of damage since it's triple Merc Treads, no armor on anybody. Not a single player has bought an armor item yet, except, I guess, Nautilus. She's going to need a lot of gold to actually carry, though. Oh. oh. It doesn't feel like you can kill a Bipo here. Oh my god, he's just fucking turning it. Giga Chad. He says, come at me, bro. <laughs> Blizzard can uh -oh. die here. Oh, he is dead. He can die. Oh, wow, the whiff. Oh, they, did you try to hex skate out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, 100 Thieves are uh, definitely struggling to actually kill anyone. Getting a think... speaker level performance on Vi here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, their best target's got to be Seraphine. Everyone else is pretty goddamn tanky. Nope. You have to miss this is the kind of comp really I would hard. not want to play Rek'Sai into. There's just no assassinatable targets for the most part. What about Flash ulting Nautilus as Vi? I mean, I think that's also a really good option. Mm -hmm. Good work. If you can't get Seraphine. Oh. Wait a sec. Oh, oh, what an insane cleanse by FBI there. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, oh, wait, Seraphine targeted? But nobody oh, dies. Oh, doesn't have ult. Wait. 
Oh, Seth just goes in. To do what? That, he pulled that out Ornol. Too good. I guess. Oh, I feel oh, like it's oh, 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 poor JJ. Is it enough? Oh, is it enough? Is it enough? Oh, oh my God. He just can't kill anyone, man. He was stealing the shield. <gasps> oh. What? Oh, oh my Are God. It's close. Is it though? I think Whippo cleans up. No, I think Avadagi cleans up. No? 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 Nope. 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 He's so slow. Oh my god, dude! This fucking what is this? Fight. Man, oh. holy shit! <laughs> These fights are so cool. Yeah, I know. It's actually so back and forth. <laughs> holy shit! At the end, uh, when I mean when it's all finished, though, like the only thing that matters is this next fight. TL has everything to gain from this fight, and like in they lose, seconds. they're in a good. Yeah. I mean, literally, the, the only fight of the game that, that matters is about to happen, and it's uh, Hextech Soul for TL. God damn, dude. No real follow-up on that Seraphine. Pretty unfortunate. I feel like God. if Under Thieves reaches a point where Zeri can start killing people, like, their <laughs> TL is so fucked. Dude, that fucking set slamming orange. Fuck, fuck is that old bitch? Throws him out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's actually such a hilarious looking animation. Do you think TL picked this full tank comp because they're against Vi? They're like, fuck this man, I'm not playing someone Vi who wants to ult. Yeah. Could be, yeah. Get me oh a my fucking zone, yes. Oh my god, somebody's gonna die instantly. And he's not gonna do any damage. Oh! He's but dead. He's dead, I guess. Okay. Or is he dead? Oh! oh. oh. Suplexed yeah. into the wall. This shit is all over. It's all over. It's all over. Or? Uh, yeah. Zerial right now. It's completely over. It's a tonky dragon. If Wibbo doesn't get rookie of the split after this match, I don't even know what to think anymore. <laughs> rookie of the split. That. I mean, is he quite is the title. absolutely working 100 Thieves. <clears throat> Oh, NT, NT. Went for the ult flash hook. Is that a combo? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Abadaga can't fucking move, man. Oh my god. I, I can't fucking focus, that. man. There's just he's seeing me too much, man. Ah, oh, fuck this shit, man. Dude, look, he's tiggling everyone. <laughs> I mean, he really is. Oh. What are his items? He dodges Why is he doing no damn Oh. No, he doesn't. Where's he the does damage? Too. Oh. Wait, dude, they're fucking low. Get closer, clean no. up. No, he can't I've, do anything. Get closer. Oh, oh. no. Uh oh. Wait, Maybe what? he needs he some has... coaching from Inspired. I've seen Inspired win that. <laughs> True. I mean, he has uh, Zarya's Hurricane Shield Bow. That's it, right? Yeah. He, he can't actually carry with those items. He needs like, like he's okay here, but he needs like three to actually carry. He's going Titanic Hydra. I mean, if is he, this if actually he the three. right build? Oh, wait, really? Is, is like... there never an option to go like Voltron's area or something? Wait, why is he no, going no. Titanic? What do you why, mean? Why is Vork bad? Uh, it just isn't. You just want it's just compa comparing it to like every other item that gives you so much exponential value is, is like hard. Mm. It's not necessarily bad by itself, but like Bork plus Shield bow feels kind of like you're spending a lot of stats on life steal, which you don't really need, and the move speed you don't really need either. I think he just needed to go PD, Lord Doms, or IE, something like that. These are some really? serious meatballs in his face. A hurricane gets more value with the more meatballs, though. Oh, yeah. He is alive. I mean, FBI's just gonna die, right? Yeah. He's yeah, dead. he's dead. Oh As soon my. as I saw his health reach zero, I knew. Silver scrapes. Holy moly. Never count Bagurgensen out. True. What the fuck? Huh. Oh, they just he's the, oh, he's the kill the air leader horns. now. But who was the kill leader before? Was it you? I don't fucking know. I Probably not. I didn't play for two years. That'd be really surprising. Probably not. I have no idea who it is though. It was Turtle? Okay. Yeah, I mean it was it was Turtle or you, I'm pretty sure. 
Or me, maybe. Or Medios. I don't like the fact that I was not even considered. Sure. That hurts my feelings. Dude, they had that ship prepped with the stupid ass air horn. <laughs> 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 FBI and getting hit by Nautilus hoax, man. He is a master. He had a pretty nice wall ride into Blast Cone. Just yeah, he had his sweet escape. A little bit prepped. too early. I mean, I don't know if there's much he can do there. Santorin can just time it as soon as he hits the cone. Ultim juked. Got a flash. What is this fight? Dude, Santorin. this game has literally been non-stop fighting, by the way, like the entire game. Oh, yeah. shit, FBI. It's actually sick, though. I feel like every league game should be like this. Yeah. And they're close. I mean, they're kind of going one-sided now, but they've been close. There's almost no difference right now in FPI's build if he had just done something regular, because like you would see him at PD plus BF Sword, which barely does any more damage than his build right now. So yeah, yeah. looking at TL's uh -oh. score lines is actually like exactly what you want for Seraphine. They're just perma five man A ramming. Yeah. Yeah. Of oh, course, is actually dead. Oh, but FPI might be in trouble right now too. Can he dodge? Can he dodge the E? Oh, the Leandries. Nope. He can. Uh, he, Did he just can't kill anything, man? Dude, he, yeah, he uh, can't kill no, damage no. to anything. Not even kill, like... Yeah. He's actually just getting pwned. You need a... You need that Serpent's Fang thingy. Not on her, though. Like, not on Zeri, yeah, I mean, not but on yeah. Zeri, just yeah. on someone. Oh, dude! Ten deaths. He tied Speaker. Ten deaths. <laughs> Actual Speaker game. Speaky type vibes. Speaky type. I kind of like. I kind of like blinked in closer with ten deaths. Yeah. It felt like he wasn't. I mean, that's what you were saying. Like it's, like it's not even specifically like he's trolling. It's just they're yeah. fighting. He's dying. It's whatever. That's just if you want to participate in the game as Vi, like you have to die. As uh, he made a really massive mistake, flash ulting Nautilus at drag though. That one was no, no question about else. it. Else. He put himself in the position where he was really behind us, Vi, but I think when you get there, it's it's not easy to just... It's not easy to have, like, like low deaths at that point, unless you just want to go AFK. I actually saw a funny-ass Kirby animation. Do you know what the one I'm talking about? No. Nope. Oh, that's like the bowling ball and the bowling pins? No. That's not Kirby, actually. Okay, well, which one are you talking about? It's called Kirby's Mouthful. I'll, I'll link it. Is this safe for work? It's... <laughs> okay, I, that answer is that. It... It could be, I mean... I wouldn't recommend watching it at work, but... You know, we can we can get our boss... To, we, like, just, just wait for our boss to, to look the other way and, and it'll be good. Okay. Mm. Who cares about this replay for this game? We gotta watch Kirby's Mouthful. Okay, you guys ready? On three? I was thinking that was safe for stream, right? I'm watching. Oh. I need some eye bleach. Whoever oh. animated that did such a good job, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh. 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 That made me so many different things feel comfortable. <laughs> I've never been more at peace than right now. Let's fucking go. Ooh, first pick Seraphine. They really want to win. Whoa. They figured it out. You Enchanters are broken, so we first pick an Enchanter. Whoa. Dude. Zillion open, GG. We can go next, guys. We banned Dude, Vine, I, so Zillion. I, I, in Seraphine, I'm pretty sure, Ser or in solo queue, Seraphine is like the most free win champ there's ever been. Yeah. So I don't see why competitive being different. She's better in ARAM. Miss Function? What the hell? What the heck? What the heck? This is crazy. Uh, 
Miss Fortune against fucking Fuck Chen. Yep. Sarah Seraphine. Seraphine. Duh. Seraph. Fine as hell. Oh. -ho -ho. All right, winning game. Dude, she's twelve. I said at winning game, <clears throat> not looking. Grow up. Uh, all right. All right, kid. You guys are dumbasses. Thanks. Don't group me in with him. <clears throat> yeah, fuck this guy. I'm smart. <clears throat> and stupid. So smart. Send a Seraphine. It's 100 Thieves fucking auto win comp. Zillion was open and they picked a Zir. We can just go FF fast. Uh, I'm just curious what, what Close is going to play. There's not very many junglers up. Lee Sin, maybe. He's always got a fucking nasty Lee Sin in his pocket. Or maybe like, like a me. Poppy. But like... Yeah. Uh, Pop Poppy's good. Especially good with Seraphine Senna, because the healing can go a really long way with her like re reduced damage taken at lower HP. So true. But... Uh oh, he's prepping closer for some guard. Yeah, he's pick. like, bro, you're gonna have Dude, to first time. What the hell was going shit. on? Did, did I? Is Reaper giving him the Heimlich maneuver he's on stage? He's laughing. He's giving him yeah, his yeah, worst I'm champ. Kidding. He says, "You're gonna be good, bud." Yeah. Hey, dude, how does uh, <clears throat> how does Zach John will seem here? <laughs> Not good into his ear. Yo, actually though, it's a Belveth angle. They have like very piss ways of stopping her E. Piss ways. Oh, Core actually pussied out. I actually re would have respected a blitz pick right here. Oh! oh. oh! They heard me. They actually heard me. Come dude, on, dude, please, stop. please stop lock giving it. Me ideas. Stop giving me ideas. I need. It. I need. Are you? What? Oh my god! I got so excited for like a I second. I fucking knew it. It was the least in angle. I called it. Now, dude, I feel like most what are this game's gonna come down to is is how well a closer can can keep his packets as long as he doesn't lose them. His, huh? His packets, his packets. like I've seen, I've seen one Leeson who oh, lost a lot of packets, and wait, it, it yeah. did not look good. The That's internet true. stability is of very high importance here for Hundred Thieves. Renekton. If he starts lagging, it it's all over. Is he even a Tyler One champ? Wait a sec. No, 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 no. Tyler One would never Renekton? play Renekton. The fuck? All right, this game's lost. Whippo is finally straying off the path. It was off the this fucking, fucking idiot. perks. You, you would actually betray your master like Zed betrayed Shen in the lore. You're so stupid, man. You're walking down the dark side. You will be punished for this. What's with this guy? I don't get it. I think I think the real conclusion to make here is that Hunter Thieves wanted it more. I rap. think so. There's a lot of healing going on for uh, for 100 Thieves. I mean, you can tell who wants it more based on this draft. Did Reaper's shoes are pretty fucking cool. I think Reaper's just really fucking cool. He is really fucking cool. What do you think about him, Sneaky? You don't so, have to say what we say. So fucking sick, man. If this game gets to 60 minutes, Leeson just wins. Oh, see what I did there? Ah. Oh, I shit myself, sorry. Did you shit your pants again? I said sorry already. I'm not going to apologize again. My bad, my bad. Oh. Man, this looks like a fun thing to lean into as an AD carry. That's Senna for you. How do you judge when you should go for a CS and when you should just be like, no, I'm going to take half my fucking health for that one? Usually it depends on your mental state. Hmm. I feel like I have the most trouble laning in like the very early levels of lane. I don't know. It's fucking weird. Just like... Mm, yeah, it's just comes down to experience. For a while, I was having this weird issue where I was playing to push. 
it was, it was weird. It's like I was playing to hit level two first, no matter what the situation was, even if like I could play really aggressively and fight, or if it was impossible for me to hit level two first and I was just fucking myself and kind of like making it volatile and they would hit two first anyways. Yeah. yeah. There's like so many little things that, yeah, you just have to work yourself through. Or if you're in a losing matchup and you somehow hit two first, no yeah. longer losing. Yeah, and it's just, it's misery. Oh, the misery. Oh, the pot plays. Yeah, I, I, I get lost in the part where you have to, like, are you supposed to, like, line up the CS to make it so, like, but your CS and their CS is dying at the same time, so, like, they can't hit no, you no, no. and the that, creep? That's not even, or... you don't even ever need to think about that. Like, there's, like, game, there's, like, multiple games, like, 10 game streaks where I don't do that a single time intentionally. Uh oh I think the main thing is just knowing how to stay in XP range without getting fucked over. Mm -hmm. With a losing matchup. Like, I feel like that's where I go wrong a lot of the time in lane. If I'm not getting cheesed by a jungler, it's like, I'll just go for a creep and just take all my fucking health. Are you watching the, the support? Uh-oh. Oh, what a cleanse. That was nice by FBI, cleansing the ignite there. Which made it stop doing damage, which is good because he was low, and if he got too low, he would die. Really? No, yeah. the cannon. Oh, unlucky. Oh, the pottery. Yo, I feel gonna get E flash on here, I swear. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Making it spicy, eh? True. Oh, I guess it is to promote social media. Uh... Wow, FBI is so cocky. What the fuck? Ooh. He was dead there if that E hits. He was gonna get fucking slam jam ignited by Leona and no cleanse. Like, holy moly. His balls are truly massive. <laughs> And, the, and like the payoff of that is so insane. He just took this massive coin flip that he was going to dodge Leona E while being slowed by MFE. If he wins that, he ha forces a recall, which then makes MF miss a whole wave. If he loses that, he dies. That is amazing. How do I get yeah. my chicken wing into the ranch? <clears throat> oh, I don't Bro. You know. Just do it. What? It just doesn't work. It doesn't Are chicken fit. wings just not flavorful enough by themselves? Eh, it's kind of flavorful. It's like, damn, that's... I don't know. Oh, what the... Wait. I gotta pour huh? the sauce? That's fucked up. What is that? What is that poke ulti? That was super optimistic. I feel like someday never flinches when he doesn't need to. Like, I was thinking, oh, maybe he'll preemptively flash because he doesn't want to get flash stunned by Renekton, right? Like, the stun almost coming up from for Renekton's side. He doesn't blink. Like, he always knows when it's fucking lethal for him or not. He just stares. Like, this guy doesn't blink. It's so yeah. creepy. It is, it is. Max. It's like pretty fucking impressive though how calculated he is. What's even more impressive is even up against the Seraphine Senna double range lane, Han still has a 71 uh, CS lead. Uh, fuck, I hate you. 71 oh, who is CS up. Oh! oh. Dude, MF Leona is actually such a nasty combo. Oh, with Santorin's hit. Oh, Abadog gets it. Oh, closer. FBI might die too. Wow, no nice shot calling, Stinky. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, well, I didn't see you say anything about it, so go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. This guy gets paid to play games. This is crazy. <laughs> TL set up a really nice trap there. It's like they give this drag and they play for the fight afterwards, which is like, you know, it, it is in a lot of ways like abnormal. You would probably imagine that they would show at some point some presence, but Ooh. no, they didn't the whole time. 
perfect CC chain. If Santorin had ulti here and he hadn't wasted it top, this could have been way better for uh, DL. It Max. might have, it probably would have been four kills now that I look at it. FBI would have died and maybe Closer would have died too because he has no flash. Mm -hmm. So that that's a crazy alternate history where where someday isn't just like fucking in their face. Didn't really force anything, but I, I, mean, I, I honestly don't know what that was by Santorin. Like that was yeah pretty fucking bizarre. I feel like even if you asked Santorin, he'd be like, yeah, I entered that. <laughs> uh, of course. It's just a plain mistake. But, uh, damn, bot line's going really well for, for TL. They are actually outplaying them quite hard. 2v2 kill, and then a trap play. TL has just looked insane today. After they start up top losing, yeah. In this game. At yeah, this, this game. moment. Right now. After they got all the kills. True. Oh. Whoa. Get those souls. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of souls. I mean, that's super, super favorable for who he. Or sorry, for for core. What am I saying? Who he, who he's the blow such a long CD. Lucky for who he. He actually rushed uh, lucidity boots, which is going to give him a ton of value this game if he's going to have to flash so much. I almost wonder if he should go Merc Treads, though. No, nah, no. Nah. Really? Uh, Lucidity Boots is almost I... core on... Uh... Uh, I see what he did there. No. Not even intentionally. Core? But it is... It's really hard not core to Core is Merc Treads, Treads though. Or... What the fuck am I saying? It's really hard not to do Haste Boots. Yeah, it is good. So I don't know, man. If, if if he dies to CC chains, like they've got Viego, Renekton, Leona, like some pretty hard to avoid shit. That would be quite unlucky. I'm ready for some explosive team fights. Oh. Oh, hold up. Not good. Not good. Core is not they, flash. They, they they could have easily killed Core there. That was such a big mistake by Huhi missing Seraphine ulti. I don't think Core meant to go in so deep. Definitely not. He's just trying to QE Lee Sin. Oh, who he is? No flash. He's dead here. He's going to get shuffled and die. No? Uh, he's just going to get flash on and die. Oh, dude. This is such oh, a bad performance. Dying to a spotline. stun. Oh, oh so no. Unfortunate. If only there was some kind of stun reduction he could have. Uh, oh, yeah. yes. That definitely would have helped. Yeah, so it's, smart. it's a shame that Viego stun just took him out. Ah, true. Who does Hundred Thieves have to frontline? That's actually gonna make it hard to get vision control. Once TL sets up, they flank, flank whoever drops. walks up is just gonna die. You don't really need frontline if you have range to check and push out every single area. But the problem is that they also just don't have much. And the, like, I think they get outranged by Azir MF, so it's double bad for them to not have a base checker. Ame has a pretty squiggle. nice spot. Oh, he's he's spotted. Oh. This is better it, positioning for for TL. I don't know what's gonna happen here. It's gonna be an explosive fight. But who's gonna win it? Back. Oh. Oh. Just... oh wait, yo, troll map hole. Oh. Can they chase? I don't think anyone Not dies really. here. I think I think five people live, or ten people live. Oh. I should say. Oh. Five people okay. live. That's the prediction. Let's go. Uh. Oh! Oh! What's oh, wait, 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 Edge there of the screen, closer is like one beforeing them. Yeah, that was fucking insane. Was, closer, I was busy man. watching Whippo run it. Yeah, I was going cross eyed, man. Closer, they should replay that fight from his perspective, too. I, I, Whippo barely missed the kill on someday, and at the same time, like, there's just like a super play coming out from closer. I mean, the, oh, the reaction time, yes, their toll was real bad. That's yeah. what I said. 
Yeah, that was Troll's uh, instant whiff. Yeah. Watching closer here. So, so far he's done absolutely nothing but just tank the engage and war jump out. Miss a couple cues. Oh, you know, classic least in packet loss gameplay. <laughs> oh, it's actually 1v3. Almost kills Hans. And he's fucking. I don't like, understand how. Jerking oh. himself off. <laughs> Dude, I said I was gonna watch. a nice penis. <laughs> Dude, look at that dolphin. Wow! Oh. That was nice observing. I didn't even know it was a dolphin on that skin. Wait, the Q is a dolphin? Yeah. Didn't know that either, till now. Oh yeah, what the fuck? That's kind of cool. The crowd goes wild. Dude, I'm telling you guys, timing skill shots to be absolutely pixel perfect on a on a guy spamming flash is <laughs> no, not no, no. easy. The the seraphine cube is a weird one. Like, I don't really understand when the hitbox is active on seraphine cube, but like charm goes through it, you know. If you time Dude, it well, like charm it's is inside such a fast, of them. It's such a fast projectile. They totally yeah, have time. Fun. But what Sneaky's saying is, like, you don't need it to just, like, the charm has to hit the front of their hitbox. It can be, like, anywhere in their hitbox when the Zonia ends. Yeah. I... Yeah, I know. I, I totally understand. But the, the projectile speed is fast, and their hitbox is relatively small in comparison. So it is it is not easy, man. I wouldn't say it's easy, say, but it's not hard. If somebody misses one, I would say it's, like, maybe 60% of the time you hit it, 40% of the time you missed it. It's not crazy. It's not like, oh, oh my god, how is he so boosted? He missed it. What the? Holy shit. Wait. Why do he ult? Uh, for fun. He's stalling. That was a pretty fun ult. FBI is just solo top here. Oh, he's coming. Hmm. Pretty poor response by Hundred Thieves, honestly. Like, it's one thing to just have somebody get killed, but they commit two TPs to try to save it and just get nothing. You know, it's truly curse trying to time Cho'Gath Q out of Azonia. I mean, isn't Cho'Gath Q like super tick rate as yeah. well? Yeah, that's why. <laughs> yeah. I feel like most pro players don't actually track the tick rate when they're playing. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Almost got freaked out by Abadagi's ult. I was like, <laughs> he just wasted ulti? Oh, it's Silas. It was going to time out. He just does it for the passive stack because it's about, it's an ability that he has for free. He's already, yeah. I feel like he doesn't start the cooling of his all earlier more than the passive stack. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. I thought it was just press it just because, but there actually I feel like I just got baited hard. That was actually a good bait. No, it wasn't a bait. I actually was only thinking about like what values you getting out of it. It's... No. It was a five head maneuver. You're a clever one. Oh, whoa, whoa. Now he's got a good ult, Leo. Oh, I've got missed two free souls there. What's, what's going on there, bud? Dude, we could really, we could easily just see fucking 100 Thieves get soul uncontested at this game at this rate. Oh, never mind. Looks like there will be a fight, potentially. Oh, 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 oh. Doesn't seem like TL's the most interested in stopping the 50 50, at least, though. We're getting something spicy. They the way the way that in. someday kind of like flicks around the edge of the fight here is so oh. impressive. He's not Great thinking about shit. Oh closer. my god! Who he almost died. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh. Holy fuck! I Wait. guess he gets killed for it. Holy poggers! Wait. Look at look at Santorin fighting Abadaga yeah, on the side. He's oh my dead. god! Santorin made a huge mistake. Oh, 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 oh. He dies. 
And now what? Just drag for 100 thieves. It's they lost one for two. Closer just fucking smurfing it again, actually. Yeah, that was nice. You did die this for guy, that, though. This guy yeah, is so not close. ulti that fight? Is his ult up? Was it? I think it was up. Just wasn't feeling it? I guess. I, I just have to point out how impressive it is that some days positioning every fight is just... It's basically perfect. He is creating the max amount of space with a, a champ that's pretty easy to kite. And he's just... Yeah, he's just doing so much. It's really amazing. Yeah, he's zoning the back line here. Yeah, he's he basically came in 1v5, did max damage, and got out without taking much damage. Holy oh, fuck. Damn. And that's so worth it for closer. Like, he's so happy to just... I mean, obviously not the best, but he dies for that. He's so happy for he, it. He gets MS Slash, and she dies. And, yes, yes. It's a Completely bounty. Completely worth. That was such a random way for Santorin to die. Yeah, he just kind of went in and thought he would win 1v1 against Abadage, which is... I mean, a, a solo kill jungler might be strong enough, right? A, a, a 10 it's kill just, solo it, It's like a Viego plus a Lee Sin effect. You're like, when you're playing Viego, you feel like you have to use the spells of the person yeah. you kidnap. Yeah. And you're playing Lee Sin, so you have to take the Q. It was actually not his fault at all. He just... There is no choice. Both top laners have the exact same build. Thoughts? I think it's weird that Aatrox is doing that build because it feels like for him, where is the value in healing reduction? How how is how is anyone on the enemy team healing anything, right? It's like maybe Viego a little bit, Renekton, it's like it feels like Renekton's healing is inconsequential. Uh so I don't really understand why he would kind of like mess up his own optimal build to counter Renekton's healing when Renekton is a non factor in team fights so far. So it is what it is, though. It's interesting mm -hmm. that both top players want the same build. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, what if it's for when Viego kills Aatrox, he has healing reduction? Mm -hmm. That's smart. That's smart. Thank you. But he is the Aatrox. Oh, fuck, he caught on. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh no. Oh wow. <laughs> TL went for a pretty cheeky little Baron sneak right there. They well, got... Okay, okay. Take it a step further. He's wind training. He wants to give Santorin healing reduction for when he is him. So okay. he's more effective. So you're accusing a professional top laner of wind training. Do you understand? As an official LCS watch party host. <laughs> Do you understand the weight of these allegations? Uh, well, it's pretty common, so... It feels really criminal that 100 Thieves Botline is able to play the game after their mistakes. I think they're really lucky to Get have carried. gotten the fights that they've gotten. Yeah, it re really is. They like, they played really poorly so far. Double would be 20 and 0 right now. Oh, I know what it's like to run it down with Senna. <laughs> It's not a good feeling. Oh shit. We're cooking up another fight. 20 oh. seconds on ocean. Gold is completely even. Crazily enough. I think 100 Thieves just needs to push down mid and end. TL, TL just needs to, like, they're the ones feeling so, like, uh, if we get into a 50-50, this is bad for us. So 100 Thieves can feel very relaxed. If they get into a 50-50 situation with TL, they can just decide right then and there, are we going to take it, or are we going to play for the fight, or are we just going to let them have it? Because eyeballing situation doesn't look good. Every single team fight, by the way, someday is over the wall for drag, and I think he can just kind of wrap around pretty soon here. They'll see him though, and then Dude, it's the great stalemate so far. Oh yeah. my god, they're just and chilling. From, from TL's perspective, they don't start drag because they don't want the 50 50. Okay. Whippo it. just started it. Whippo's like, I'm bored. Yeah, it's it's a little bit strange, right? Because they have so much to lose, but nothing to gain from getting the drag. So starting nothing it was to gain. not good. They literally I mean, they can't get, get the drag. No, they, they, they just don't get much if the, if the 50 50 doesn't go their Ooh. way, okay? 
Silas, Leo ulti. Oh my Ooh. god, someday position. The perfect flank creator. He's just always on the flank. He's so, so hot. handsome. I can't believe how no, hard he's so flanking. easy to play the game. Oh, oh my god, again! Oh! He's oh, fucking wow, dead. He got the e. Oh my god. Oh, wait, oh, my, oh my god, Aatrox is over. It's over, it's over, it's over, uh, it's over, it's over, it's over. It's over. It's over. G -G. G -G. Holy fuck, close to the game. Yo, what what champ did you guys say he should play again? I forgot. Poppy. Poppy. Belveth. Yeah, I, I don't think Belveth. they're gonna win. I don't think they win like this with Poppy. They would or with Belveth. Belveth. Okay, my bad. Belbussy. All right, just get the get the get the soul. Get the soul. They got a little bit hyphy, thinking that they could get Perfect. more. I think it's maybe Baron. What the? I think they can Baron with their champs. Is that the chant? Is that the hundred thieves chant? Let's go thieves. Yeah, I don't think so. <clears throat> yeah, let's try a different one, buddy. God let's damn, go Hans. Go. Sama Guys, caught I, the fuck it's, out. It's it's really really hard to justify it. like Hans Sama getting his ass kicked so many fights at the very beginning. Like, is it's, it closer or is it Hans? I think it's just this this whole series <laughs> has been. Yeah, dude, honestly, Closer should feel himself. His Lee Sin is so clutch, man. The last time he played it, he was just pissing on the enemy team. Pissing? Facts. Oh, my. What the Actual fuck? Actual facts, though. Uh, they don't look like sinks. Are you sure? He envisioned them. It's it's image training, man. He thought of the enemy team as five sinks. <laughs> team Liquid. Actually, I could He's see why he would piss on, on them. Stage Feeling himself up, huh? Uh, oh, that's kind of weird. Damn, Liquid has their back up against the wall. What are they gonna do? What's their response? Their hair's getting pulled. Hairs are turning gray. Their back's getting blown out. Three years backs old getting... IRL. <laughs> <laughs> Hands becoming They're... crippled slowly, getting carpal tunnel. I I, I take back everything I said about Abadaga. Like I I think, based on regular split, it was probably a little bit Bjergsen favored between the two. But the way he's been playing this series, even in the games that they lose, he is like the main hope for his team. Like, he is actually out of his fucking mind so far. Wait, whose mind is he in then? If he's out of his. He's probably on my mind. On all oh, our minds. Oh, Santorin, this is you, bro. This is it. You've been this cooking up this mic. This, this is literally moment. it, Mike. This is not a smithy, man. Oh, and another someday flank, man. How did? How is this guy just always in a flank? <laughs> what? Closer one shot. Oh! oh! They actually get it. Are they all gonna die for it though? Yeah, Hans. That's is dead. if they do. Oh, are they? Oh, or right. are they? All right, Look it's game dead. over. Yeah, they're fucking dead. I'm Holy sorry. Fuck. It's game. Holy fuck! The Baron killed. That was. I thought a, a very nice try by TL to just steal and run away, but they couldn't get out. Like, every fucking fight, somebody is flanking them. It's so annoying to play against, I feel like. How does he, how does he keep doing it? How, how does he keep, how does he keep getting him? away with it? <laughs> nah, no, he's just a good player. He has truly stepped up. Oh, oh, <laughs> on some, uh... <laughs> yeah, he says, fuck this guy. He just stopped oh, watching. Oh, another one. <laughs> another delivery, man. Yo, he's <laughs> like, all right, I'll wait. I'll Dude. wait two extra yeah. seconds, then do it. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, Dude, holy shit. Closer for, is for closer, in Hans' in, ass. It's and a button head. that he presses. Like, he doesn't, it's not a skill issue. Like, it's like fucking, he just does it on command. He is insane. That was pretty filthy. The reverse sweep. 100 Thieves make it to Worlds. Ah. I don't know about God the reverse damn. 
sweet. What part but of those is true? They did make it to worlds. They are officially in worlds. There is quite the jungle canyon this game. TL's now in the C9 plus 100 Thieves boat. Or sorry, not 100 Thieves. Uh, TSM. Wait, who does TL play now? TL? Uh, I don't know. TSM or C9? Damn, that was a good ass series. Yeah, no, that, that was the sick series. I mean, I'm I, I'm so happy to see Hunter Thieves make worlds. Like the way they play is like really inspiring. Like the way the way they play is probably how every LCS team, maybe not EG, but every LCS team watch, and they want they want to play like that. Like because when it, it's working, it's like so beautiful. It is. It's very fast. It's very creative. God, oh, there is some uh, good ass fights them. between these two teams. Yeah. That last game, Closer actually fucking popped off. Santorin, not his best game. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It, it was really uh -huh. pronounced in the last game. Like, 19. Don't hold gap, because Santorin made some mis team fight mistakes. Closer just made stuff happen. But also, like, I feel like the top gap was also totally massive. Like, Bwipo got blood in his eyes way too many times in the whole series and like the last game where he's playing Renekton he just jumps in on a 1 HP target it's like that guy's already gone you don't need to play for the kill he's out yeah, of the that... fight you're throwing your life away for what 300 gold so you can finish this target and like it obviously goes the worst way possible where he doesn't get the kill and dies himself but there was a world there where he stays full HP with his team and like plays the fight out with them yeah true that's fucking banger, though. It's a banger. It's a fucking banger. Stopping it with Azir, Leona, Renekton. Even Viego can just channel a W. One time the Q was on his Viego. Five game series. Like, I had like 10 deaths every game. And going into game five, we wanted to try something. And I like going into four or five, I'm thinking in my mind, like, what jungle I'm going to play because I didn't play Lee Sin for like three months and we needed an AD jungler. And then Reaper said, our coach said, game five, close Lee Sin, and here we are. Let's go. What about you, Ava? How was that fifth game there? Your Silas was absolutely sick in that game. How was it playing Bjergsen? Uh, I respect him, but I felt like the series he didn't do much. Oh! So, little diffy in the midi, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of today. yeah, I mean, too, bro. Well, it's funny you mention that because something I've noticed watching, uh, especially this series, but in general, there's lots of really good mid jungles in the LCS. But watching you two play today felt like there's just another level. And I know that you're not necessarily all getting the accolades or the, maybe the respect that you deserve. How do you two feel like you stuck? I just couldn't up? make a top three. Like, uh, there's some Imagine. other mid laners that might have already lost in playoffs that they had some spots in the top three also. Um, uh -oh. I don't know where they are now, uh, but I, I heard a little story about that. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Are you enjoying playing with Ava here? I feel but like who else is top three? Really well connected in game. Yeah, I, I, I don't think know. I think it was like, Jojo, Jensen, and Jensen, and I Bjergsen, think wasn't it? We were really comfortable hmm. like, uh. we were killing uh, enemy mid a lot and controlling the game. So I'm happy how, how we are, but there is we can always improve. Thank you. We will have another interview coming up, but before we get there, let's go on back That's to the awesome. State Farm desk. All right, well, I think that's it for us. GG's, Mr. Snakey. Yup. Later, bro. See ya. See ya.